All right, and welcome back to Kingdom Death. This is year 14, and we're about to enter the unknown. The unknown, 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 unknown. A hit points gaming first, <laughs> fighting the Dung Beetle Knight. Now, I've heard that this is a rough fight. That I, th I think that the level 3 Dung Beetle is the hardest thing in the game currently. So we are fighting a level 1. Uh, just to go in to learn the fight. Who's this guy next to him? His friend? That's his That's his ball that he gets to roll around. I'm just going to we'll set, set it to the side for now. Yeah, don't, okay. don't let it upset you. Uh, it's he, it seems like a pretty wacky fight. He's got this ball that he's going to be rolling around and throwing at us. Uh, he's got a very odd hit location deck. Um, but we have some... We're using our survivors, the, the newborns, that have... More come or out less with us for a yeah. while, um, but some funky setups. Gosh, yeah, we had to rearrange our gear grid from not having any weapon the last uh, fight mm -hmm. to now fitting in pickaxes to try and start gaining some iron. But I think the pickaxes are going to be helpful for this fight. We have an extra badge, the Lionite badge that we haven't had all this time, and then we have our lucky charms that we built. Um, We're actually using lucky charms, yeah. We are. Make sure for that extra luck. So our gear grids are going to look way different than they have. Yeah. Um, let's see. Man, we've been playing Kingdom Death actually all day. Like, mm -hmm. this is like... Non-stop. We're wearing the same clothes. Yeah, yeah. But it's good. We're getting a lot, a lot out, so this way we can get the content out to you again every week, every Friday. You just had that bonus episode up here on Monday. Um, so that gives us time to concentrate on some other games. On uh, something that we've been talking about for a very long time. Maybe we'll be working on that soon. Charterstone! No, not, not Charterstone. That's already over. Uh, I don't know. Some new content, and I'm getting ready for Star Wars Legion to come out. Uh, building some terrain there, so I'm excited for that. Maybe I'll show some content of there, or playing our, our, one of our games. Uh, but let's jump into... Who we're going to bring out? We're bringing out, and I'll go over the, the, the rules, at least from what I know, of the Dung Beetle. All right, Oro is coming back out. She's going with the bow and the dancing armor set. Uh, she does have the extra lucky charm right there, so that with Deadly, she's critting on eight. And going to be using our first bone axe coming out into the fight. We get you four mean, survival. Oh, yeah, pickaxe. Pickaxe. We have yeah. four survival when we depart now, which is helpful. I'm going to be getting, uh, I think, a decent amount of evasion. I'm not getting the advanced monster grease. Unfortunately, I don't have the affinity set up for that. Uh, next is going to be Pele uh, wearing the white lion armor, but actually not coming out with a Qatar. There's our second pickaxe using the cat eye circlet. Let's see. I think the hit location of this dung beetle is going to be pretty tricky, so we are going to be using the circlet as much as possible. Uh, let's take a look at the dung beetle. So here's the character, and he's got this giant ball here, which is his friend that he likes to roll around. So uh, he's got baller. Um, when this gets triggered, it's usually, I think, at the beginning of his turn, he's, he rotates or he spins the ball all around him, and everyone that gets touched uh, gets knocked down. They suffer collision. He's got this power forward, so at the beginning of his turn, he targets the furthest stinky survivor. So people that have monster grease or any of the keywords, that's who he targets. And then he's going to spin the ball around and then basically toss it at that furthest stinky person. He rolls 2d10s and it moves that number of spaces. And right now, if that person gets hit, they suffer 5 damage at one location and then he runs after the ball. All right. Uh, but this can get stopped if he is not next to the ball. He has separation anxiety. That's when this special keyword comes into play, this little symbol right here. And that means um, if he's not next to the ball, then we don't perform certain moves. Do not perform this card. Okay. So we want to keep that ball away from him. And he's got a ground pound, uh, which is actually called... Um, bu -bu 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 uh, prepare tunnels. There's actually oh. a, a... It should be prepare tunnels, but it's called ground pound. Don't know. Hopefully it doesn't come into play because we suffer bash and we take a lot of damage, I think. So, I don't know when that comes into play. We'll find out. Great. Great. Okay. This is Frigg wearing the remnants of the Rawhide set. She will be bringing out 
her leather shield. Hopefully that will help us in certain hit locations um, and to gain more weapon proficiency in the shield. Okay, she is the one that gained tumble in the last year. So she now has tumble and she has rhythm chaser, which gives her an extra evasion. And then she will be carrying the Lionite badge, so she'll get to pull a tactics card, and uh, that gives her an extra accuracy. So she's actually at two accuracy. Plus I like two it. Accuracy. Um, she's at max for survival. Yeah, which luckily. is now seven. I which think. is now seven. Yes. Okay. Last we have um, Cupid. He's going to be carrying the spear. He's also another survivor that has uh, the monster grease. He's going to have his lucky charm which helps with luck. Um, he's wearing the Screaming Armor set. He gets an extra evasion because he also has the Rhythm Chaser and he is up to max survival um, as well. Andrea and I actually have taped a few episodes ahead of time. We gamed for about two or three days straight of just doing Kingdom Death to give us time to not only um, allow us to put out the Friday episodes and we don't have to worry about that, but it gave us time to go back and finish our Pandemic Legacy uh, Season 2 campaign. Some of you may be watching. Uh, the issue with that is when we make mistakes, uh, it's a little bit harder for us to go back and adjust them quickly, right? So one of the things that pointed out to us on last week's episode was the dancing armor set. So these hybrid sets You'll notice that in the upper right hand corner there's that how much armor that you get uh, for the set. I was under the impression that it was in addition to the, the normal armor points that are on the item. That's not the fact. Um, it actually, like this one's three, it's three armor to every location. Even if the location is a four or higher, it goes down to a three. So uh, I, I don't know, it didn't really, t I don't think it came into play during the, the Kingsman uh, fight. I'm not sure if it comes into play in this episode with the Beetle Knight. I'm going to have to go back and see if it affects things. And then we have one more episode after that, which I won't say if it comes into play or not. I'll, I'll, I'll have to take a look. But just so you guys are aware, I'm able to... I haven't edited the Beetle Knight's video yet, so that's why I'm placing this in here now. Um, so thank you for pointing that out. I'll go ahead and, and make sure we correct that going forward. It's just... It's going to be incorrect in this and next week's episode. So thanks everyone again for watching and enjoy this Beetle Knight fight. Level 1 Beetle, good. We're still before the overwhelming darkness. I have no idea what these I random know. events are going to be two like. there's right off the bat. Yep. And uh, since we have the bone pickaxes, we get to place our very first like mineral gathering event card here. Nice. This is new for you. Nice, yes. So you'll see this is how, this is your main way to get iron. Okay. And how difficult it is to get it. Okay. All right. Now so your characters have the pickaxes. All right. So we are actually going to go there first. So we activate this. Okay. All right. So then we do the mineral gathering story event. Every survivor with the pickaxe rolls on the gathering table. Okay. Right. Okay, so. All right, sure, here we go. Yeah, you have the gathering table. All right, so Oro. So what is? We just do this. We have, nope. Nope, just okay. this. Okay, just at the top, mineral right. gathering. Oro is eight. Eight, gain one scrap basic resource. If this event occurs after overwhelming darkness, you find a cape. Okay, so we don't. Okay. So, so one that's a scrap. scrap. Yes. Right? All right. And Pele? Four. Four. Gain one broken lantern basic oh my resource. Goodness. A sudden rock slide catches you off guard. Suffer two event damage to a random hit location. All right. So two to the hand. I'm down to one armor in the hand. Right. But... That's a scrap. That's exactly what we needed. That's it. Perfect. And a scrap. And that's and it. A broken lantern. Okay. So uh, no iron. No iron. Iron was six to seven. Okay. That's but it. we needed those scraps. Those two scraps, so we can start building the blacksmith. Yes. So I take that as a positive. That was actually pretty good. That was actually really good. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so we still have to encounter this regular. Uh, yes. Okay, so this is Cupid. So it was a broken lantern. And a scrap. And a basic scrap, okay. 
Can I have the white dye, please? Yep. Okay. 99. Or 90, whatever it is. I don't know what it's going to be. Six. Faceless statue. The survivors come upon a faceless statue holding a sh shining lantern. Basking in the warm light, the survivors are renewed. Each survivor gains one survival. Mm -mm. Okay, both my guys do, actually. Oh, good. Yep. I'll take that extra survival. Yeah. If the settlement has sculpture. We don't. No. We really need to get that sculpture, huh? Would it have been good? I don't know. Okay. However, uh, the swords may rest here longer if they do. Each survivor heals all light injuries. No, we don't want to rest. Okay, that's it. Okay. Moving on. So, Frig. Ready? Yes. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm very nervous about this. <sighs> practice dummies. You find a practice dummy of sorts. Can't be that bad. Roll a d10. Oh, it can always be that bad. Four. The marks on the dummies appear to have been made with crude blades. If you have sword proficiency, gain plus one level. You no, don't. I don't. Otherwise, gain one understanding. Oh, I will take an understanding. Okay. Good job, Frig. Great job. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is Pele. Pele. Sudden rumbling. You hear a low rumbling and suddenly see an enormous ball rolling right towards you. Oh, no. Roll a 1d10. Oh, low. If the result Sorry. is equal to or lower than your courage. It's not. You dive away. So no, now. it's not. I don't dive away. Yeah, if the result is equal to or lower than your courage. You dive away. You stand your ground. Otherwise, yeah. you dive away. Oh, so I dove away. Yes, that's what I just said. You okay. dove away. Wonderful. So now you have to roll a 1D. Oh, so then it's... Now, do you roll again? So stand your ground or dive away. So yeah. I think you have to roll again. I do. Okay. Dive away. Five. Yes. Eight. You run around the ball and using its momentum, heft yourself onto oh. it. Gain the propulsion drive fighting Art. There it is. You would have suffered damage to your arms I'm if you sure rolled under a stone. I'm sure I would have. That was amazing. Propulsion drive fighting art. What At the start what? of the showdown, gain the momentum survivor status card. When you attack, if you have five or more momentum tokens, remove them all and roll a d10. Gain that amount of luck and strength Holy cow. when attempting to wound the first selected hit location for this attack. So basically wow. I run around a lot, I go into a hyperdrive, and then attack. Alright. That was excellent. Good. That okay. worked out. Next is oh, yeah. Oro. Here we go. I'll give you this one. Random, right? right? Yep. One more. One more card. 26. The pit. Ah, okay. The ground beneath the event revealer's feet gives way and they plummet into a pit below. The event revealer rolls a 1d10. If a survivor has a whip, if the event revealer has tumble fighting art. I do. They nimbly catch a ledge and haul themselves up. <laughs> gain plus one speed token and do not roll on the table. Okay, I don't roll on the table, but I get a speed token. And you're reading all the results. No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. All right, plus one speed. We've had this one before. Yeah, we have. Okay, all right. Well, good person to get that. Yeah. Tumble fighting art because of the dancing armor set. All right, and then we get right to the, the beetle. Wow. So let's pick the tactics cards. And, and the terrain, right? The terrain. Okay. Well, I get one here with Frigg for the lion badge, so I'm going to pick that one right now while you look. We don't get any extra terrain. There's just oh, we stuff don't? On it. Yep. Just the canthus? Okay, this is Frigg's pull. Okay. Lance formation. Lance formation. And then Pele. 
The reviving tactic. Isn't that what we just had? No, we had the block. And I'll take the reviving tactic, though. That's going to be very helpful, I think, if we lose a lot of armor. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set up the board. Two speed and two strength. So that was actually pretty good. We got we got the two scraps that we needed. We got the two scraps we needed. I gained an understanding. And I got this pretty sweet fighting art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now we don't have to waste time with that yeah. stone thing in our stomach. I just found it, jumped on it, and started... I should join the circus. Pele. You probably oh, man, should. Person with the fist. Pele. This, this uh, is Pele. He's going to run around. <laughs> Here is the showdown for the dung beetle. Set up with these extra columns. He mm -hmm. has a bug patch here. His ball, resin ball, starts behind him. His buddy. We were able to get some acanthus plants on. Mm -hmm. um, there is a little picture of him. Okay. It oh. looks like Cirque du Soleil. Right? Insects. I forget which one that was. There was once a lowly beetle that was hopelessly attracted to the phoenix droplings. Their strange qualities evolved the beetle rapidly. One day, the phoenix migrated to a sacred grove, and the beetle's food came under the fierce protection of a flower knight. The beetle emulated the knight in order to reach its meal without incurring the guardian's wrath. Oh, so you wanted to be like the flower knight in the forest so he could get the food? Food? The Poop? Okay. So he only has, oh, I don't know about only, uh, since 11. he's level one, he only has 11 wounds. Okay, that's going to be our saving grace. If you can even find the 11 on there. It All doesn't right. exist. It's tough. There's, you know, there's 20 sides on there. I know. It took me a while. I know. All right. He has 12 toughness for a level one. Okay. But we have a lot of strength. Okay. On our weapons. We'll see how this goes. Uh, oh, boy. All right, so oh, monster goes first. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, at the start of his turn, oh boy, he performs the power baller. forward at the start of each oh. monster's turn. So, pick target for this stinky survivor. I set it up so that stinky. We've got the two people in monster greases are stinky. That's Cupid. Mm -hmm. And your chick. My chick Oro. Pele. Oro. So I'm the furthest. Okay. So then he's going to turn to face the target and perform baller. Baller is he rotates the ball around him so he would knock people down. Okay. And then he places it in front. Okay. Then uh, move the ball 2d10 spaces towards the target. On collision, suffer 5 damage. Now, it's like it can go like this shortest path and this is the object where if it hits a wall for sure it travels along it okay so i would love if you rolled less Two than five. Oh my goodness like that yep so it's like one two three four um so it's the same five great job it didn't hit me. Holy cow. He needs to roll less than a seven. Okay, so there's no, like, basic movement that he gets on top of the roll. No. Okay. Because if that hit me, I would have taken five damage to one location. The, the higher level the uh, monster is, the more locations I get hit. Okay. Okay. Then full move the monster towards the ball. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. He just goes towards the ball and stops. Okay. Okay. So that's the beginning of his thing. Wow. Okay. Now he performs his actual turn. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, halfway there. And instead of like the other guys that they do their action after, he sets it up. Before. Okay. Right. But now he's next to the ball because it was such a short throw. Oh. So he's not separation anxiety. So maybe we take somebody and like run them run away, away really far. Rhinoceros charge. Oh. It's one of his three... Advanced yes, cards. Of course it is. Of course. For this threat, field of view. And this does not block this field of view. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's, it's, yep. it's going to be Pele. Move and attack target. The damage of the following attack is equal to the number of spaces the monster moved this turn plus four. one. 
Wait it's a minute. Turn. I wonder so if wait, it's... he has to move now, right? I wonder if it's like this, right? This, this. Starting now. Yeah. Oh, at the start of the monster's turn. That's kind of weird. And how do you know, like, one, two, three, four, five? Move the damage of the following attack is equal to the number of spaces the monster move this turn plus one. Wow, and then perform ground pound after this. Okay, let me just look at what ground pound is. The monster slams the ground, precisely altering its networks of prepared tunnel. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. Okay, so when we say monster, now we're just talking about the beetle. Yes. Vibrations create a uh, natural ramp. Move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster. So then it's going to come back towards him. So. I do not know what's happening right now. Three speed. So does the monster okay. have to move over to you? So yeah, you? he's going to be doing this. So those people probably are going to want to get out of the way. We have an ability to. Um... Or what I could do is I could actually dash with Pele and like move him over here. So if he dashes, so we're going to target Pele, right? And then I could go one, two, three, four, five. I could do this, so that means that the monster doesn't move anymore. Oh, okay. So his attack is less. It's kind of weird. Move and attack target. The damage of the following attack is equal to the number of spaces the monster moved this turn. Well, I would assume this turn would be here. It's kind of, that is weird, right? At the start of each monster's turn, do this. Turn to face target and perform Because it's Move still, ball. this whole thing is the monster's Move turn. Move the monster, yeah. Because... So you're very lucky now. Well, I'm not lucky. He moved five spaces. Well, five spaces, but I'm saying, like, if you couldn't get to him... Right, He would be right. doing twice as so, much So, yeah, damage. I'm going to dash to get there. Because now I don't have to worry about the other people having to dash. Okay. Okay. I spent my survival to do that. Move and attack target. The damage of the following attack is... Okay, so he moved five, right? Plus one. So this is... No, he moved four. He was here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. I moved it over. I guess maybe I shouldn't have. Moved it towards... Yeah, I'm going to go there. So it's five movement. He goes like this, plus one. So this is for six damage. Okay. I'm three attacks. Speed three. Accuracy three, four, five. Hits on fives. I don't like that. I don't like it either. But if you roll low, I'll like it. I Gosh, like it a lot. You mean like that? I like it a lot. Didn't even touch me. Well, that's not going to happen every time, though. Okay, now, uh, ground pound. All adjacent survivors suffer bash, so I fall down. This is the character that's just going to break apart. Yeah, break apart. And then, the vibration creates a narrow rent. Move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster. It's already next to him, so the ball doesn't move. This is a way for him to then pull it closer to him. Oh, um, to do the thing next time. Yep. So, that's it. That's the monster's turn. Okay. We didn't, I just got knocked down. That's it. Okay. Okay, now, I will say this. We can, standing next to that ball, push it. Oh, we can? As an action, you move the ball 1d5 spaces away from you. So if we push it away from him, he's not going to be next to it at the start of his turn. He's going to have separation anxiety. Might be a good idea. Okay. But of course, someone have, would have to move next to it. Oh, I can move there. No, you want to shoot. Oh, but I would push it that way. Right. You want to shoot it. Oh, so yeah, I'm um, the one that's shooting. Yeah. You so, have to do the attack. Okay. So, how about if someone gets Pele up, okay. I could circle it, move, push the ball. Okay, so I'm going to have Frig get you up. Okay. Okay. Gonna shout. She's going to shout. I'm going to stand up. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to circle it then. Okay. Okay. 
So, top three cards. Holy cow. Alright, so the first one. So here we're taking a look at this. Century Carapace. Okay, super dense. So this has plus six toughness to the wound location. So he has 18 toughness. Now, you gain 2d10 strength when attempting to wound with the club, shield, or pickaxe. That's why we brought some. The club, and the shield, and the pickaxe, minus okay. the club. If you fail, oh, this reaction cannot be canceled. Okay, so, oh boy. All right, failure, uh, you lose one survival. Okay, that's it. He doesn't perform Burrow because he's not a level 3. Or, if you wound, this reaction cannot be cancelled, it says. Instead of wounding the monster, archive this card and gain one survival. If you attack with a pickaxe, gain additional 3 survival. So you don't actually wound him, you just remove this card. So we don't have to fight him again? Fight who again? No. It's just no, comes I out mean, of the hit location. Oh, for this fight, for not this for fight. all fights. Right, it's just one less thing. Okay. We're chipping into his armor. Okay. okay. But we've got two other cards here. Yes. So let's see. We've then got both... the Iridescent Helm. If you hit with a club or shield, gain plus four strength. Okay. okay, so this is pretty good. Wound. If you hit with a club or shield, the monster staggers. It suffers minus four toughness and cancels the reaction of the next selected hit location. So we might want to put this on top and attack with the shield. Okay, then the other one is the Filthy Resin Sword, failure to wound, perform basic action targeting the attacker. So yeah, I think we do the helm first, then the sword, and then the super dense. Okay. 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 Then. Okay, that was Pele. Pele. So Pele is going to move one, I'm going to go, I'm going to fall apart. You know what, Pele? Since your character is the way it is, and we've got these people still here. Pele. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I was just seeing if any of the characters had an axe, but they don't. Or... I think they're okay. It's the okay. only nine Kingdom Death Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. Thanks, I got it. Pele's gonna go, and then I'm going to surge to push this ball. Oh, okay. Away. Which, oh, this way. It's away, yep. One space. Once in a lifetime reroll. No. I was just, I, I was just kidding. I know you were kidding. Okay. <sighs> wow, that sucked. Because it's still obviously next to him. Okay. Uh, well, I think you move in and bash with that shield. Yes. Can you move me? I can. So this One, is two, three. Frig. Frig. Coming, coming in hot and heavy. Yep. Okay. Now, do you get behind him? Can I move behind him? Do or do I need accuracy? I need to be out? Well, remember, I have an extra accuracy. Right. So you're hitting on So sixes. I have two accuracy. Mm-hmm. So that is sixes. sixes. Mm. If you get behind him, you hit on fives. And then you could always surge, and you're going to hit a fives again. You've got the survival. Okay, so I'm going to dash to get there. Is that okay? Yeah, but I'm not going to need to dash to get away, because the ball is going to trample me. Oh, the me. ball's going to knock you down. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you go and attack here, you could dash away. That's fine. Let's do that. Okay. But I'm just hitting on a six. You have two speed, though? No, you only have one speed. I have one speed. Now, we're not standing in the lance formation. Okay. No. no. Um, do I uh, get anything extra? I think you take the knockdown. You just fall do down. Do I suffer damage? No, you just oh. fall down. And someone can just shout to get you up. Oh, wait, I have tumble. And you got tumble. I can get out of the way. Possibly. Okay. Yeah. I say you dash. Okay. Because the shield's going to be good to hit. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. So one to dash. Can I have a 4C? Yep. All right, so now you hit on fives. Now I hit on fives. With one attack. With one attack. Can I get an extra speed up in here? There it is. 
Yes. Hit. Okay. Now, don't I get extra strength? Yeah, plus four strength to this okay, attack. Okay, so I have four, seven. One. So eight. It gives you plus eight. four to this. So it's five to the shield. You got three there. So that's eight. So you wound on a four. Wait, what is accuracy? That's to hit. We accounted for that already. Okay. We, we, just we just talked about that. that. We just did that. All right. You need to wound on this. So it's a four. Yes. Great way to start if you can wound here. Six. Wound. Great job. I get proficiency. Yep. Let's mark that off. So he's down to do a half slash. ten wounds. Okay. Now I'm going to go again. He has minus four toughness and cancels the reaction of the next selected hit location. It's, it suffers minus four toughness. Oh, so the next attack he has minus four toughness. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, maybe you don't. And I surge, surge after someone else hits. Yeah, but the next one is going to be... Hmm. How about this? How about I surge with Aura? Okay. Actually, I'm going to attack with Aura, but I'm only going to do one attack. Now, does the ball block line of sight... No. Okay. Uh, well, it doesn't block line of sight for him. Mm, obstacle, impassable, indestructible. Sea expansion cannot be destroyed or removed. I don't think it does block line of sight. Let me, I guess. I guess let me we should probably check that out. I remember reading something about it. I mean, technically, if you're shooting, you, like, shoot over the ball. The ball does not block the Dung Beetle's Knight's line of sight. It is experience with using it. Uh, so it might block ours. Yeah. Obstacle impassable. Well, guess what? You have to move. I'm moving anyway. I'm only going to shoot once to pull the next card, because then the next one's going to be the one with the shield, and you can surge to hit him again. Okay. How's that? So I'm going to move here. Okay. Now you're going to be in the rotation now. I'm going to push that ball away. With who? Her? With her. Okay. All right, so I'm going to attack with, uh, actually, I'm going to push the ball. First? First. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to spend my action. I'm going to push the ball five, two, four, six, three spaces away. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to surge by spending an action. Uh, survival, and now I'm going to shoot, but I'm only going to shoot once. Okay. What do you hit on? A two. Okay. Perfect hit. No. Nope. No. No. All right. Filthy resin sword is minus four toughness. Okay. So he has eight. I have six, seven. So I wound on a two. Okay. Excellent. Seven. Mm, an eight or more would have been that crit. Oh man. All right. That would so have been awesome. That's a wound. Get that lifetime reroll. Get that down to a nine. Okay. And now I actually get an extra movement. First attack during your act, gain a movement and spend it immediately. So, I am the, I'm the, I'm stinky. Pick target, right, so this doesn't come into play. So he's going to full move towards the ball on the start of his turn because we spent our time pushing it away from him. Okay. So he's not going to do that whole baller thing. Okay. Uh, but, but he could gonna, still do I'm this move here. Career. I'm going to move here. Okay. Okay. Who, so both my characters are gone. So yeah, if you want to surge. I'm going to surge in order to... Attack with that shield. Yes. So again, I am hitting on a six. Five, because you're behind him. That's the whole reason we put oh, you there. five. Come on. Bash him with that shield. Bash him! Yes. On a... No perfect hits. Yes. Oh, the my perfect goodness. perfect hit with combo master, I get another attack roll. Ugh. All right. So this is the Sentry Carapace. Plus six toughness to this one. So he has 18 toughness. 
Okay, okay. what do I get for having the shield? Gain plus 2d10 when attempting to wound this location with a sword. A, or a club, a sword, or a pickaxe. Whatever. Club, shield. shield. So you roll 3d10s. Okay. You've got four. Four Those what? Four strength. Shield's one. I've got four strength. Now you roll plus 3d10s. 3 3D Get 18 toughness, so you need 14 in total. I got it. You definitely got it. Definitely got it. Okay, so this is a wound. Can't one of those come out as a critical? There's no critical on here, <sighs> anyway. Instead of wounding the monster, archives this uh, card and you gain one survival. Okay, I'll take it, because I use some. Away. That's great. It's one card out of the way. But it doesn't take a wound. It doesn't take a wound, okay. but... We can now continue there. to wound. Okay, so Cupid hasn't gone at all yet. Okay, what's Cupid got over there? Okay, well Cupid has a spear, uh -huh. and he also has the ability to slam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That can be helpful. And he gets plus two for a campus. Okay, so I don't know Do if you... Slam, wait, what? Spend full movement forward in a straight line. If you move four or more spaces, stop and stop adjacent to the monster. Yeah. Oh no. So See, I we don't. don't know what his hit locations are now. It's kind of it's kind of scary. Oh, cuz I didn't rawhide. Well, no. The circlet is the Oh, the circlet, place. circlet. So, do you get the acanthus plant and then kind of set up over here so when he's over this way, I next can, turn, I can charge. You can slam into him. Okay. I think you I think you answered it. Okay, acanthus. Plus 2 to this? Plus 2. Five, seven. Seven. That's a survival, but you're at max. Are you sure? We need eight to get the acanthus plants. Oh. Yeah. Okay, move me over. And then how about like this? Because if he moves here to attack, oh, maybe you go like here. Yeah, in a straight line. We'll get him out of the way. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. His turn. Your new round. Which is over. All right, so he has separation anxiety. Okay, so at the beginning of his turn, we don't perform this card. Oh, do not perform this card at all. So he doesn't full move towards the ball. He stays right there. Oh. He's very upset. I don't know if people can see, but you know he's like, he's like crying up in that corner. Let me see. He like lost his blankie. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't say he's crying. He's definitely angry, which scares me. He's got some anxiety going on. He's like, Ugh. Right? Yeah. So we don't perform that. Pretty good. So I guess it's really helpful to have somebody just Push keep pushing away. that ball away. All right, ready? No, but okay. Closest knockdown survivor. Resin planted right. Closest stinky threat. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. It's me. <coughs> okay. What's it called? The what? Resin plated right. Okay, so it goes like this. Comes at me. Of course. Too close. Did you have to build that model or did it come like that? Oh, I had to build them. Oh, good job on that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. All right, so it's going to perform this, and then it's going to do a basic action after. Kind so two attacks? Yeah. To the same person? Yeah. So oh, okay. three attacks. Accuracy three on this. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. And you have tumble, right? Six, seven. Yeah, seven. Eight. Oh, eight. Yep. Three attacks hitting on eights. For four damage. One. Okay. I am going to just dodge it. Because it gives me bleed and bash, so I would get knocked down. So I'm going to dodge right now. Okay. Let's get rid of all these. Survival. Look how helpful survival is coming to Yeah, blood. wow. Alright, now performs basic action. Okay. So his basic action is closest knockdown survivor, no, closest threat in range, full move the monster towards the dung ball. So he's going to move, which is good. He'll move this way. That's after he attacks? Yep. All right. 
So again, same thing. Uh, so let's have him attack me again. Three attacks, it's going to be eights again, four damage, there's no after effect. Now I can't dodge this though. So, uh, and we don't want him to hit Pele because Pele doesn't really have that much armor. So, eights again. One hit. hit. Okay, so it's four damage to what location? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. It's okay. The to foot. The, to the foot. I had six armor there. Okay. So I'm down to two. And then he runs over to his little ball. Okay. Okay. All right. We're up. So I think Pele is going to circle it. Right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. There's another one. So we have that. another one. Yep. All right. So the first one is parry. We have to do that one first, right? Nope. No? No. Nope. Okay. Um, full move towards, this is the, if it fails. Now, a parry is only if you critically wound it. Okay. Does this not happen? So okay. probably we want to attack with the guy that has the best chance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, full move towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, attacker suffers bash and knockback seven. Okay. Well, I hope we can cancel. We can do the one where you cancel the next If you one. hit with a club or shield, gain plus four strength when attacking with this. Wound. Oh, uh, yeah. Minus four toughness and cancel all reactions until the end of the attack. So that one goes first. And I'm right there. Yeah, so that and that. So yeah, if you go and hit him with the, the shield again. From behind. Plus four toughness. If you wound, he has minus four toughness. So I could do this, so I could attack him. And then I surge to do that. Yeah. Okay. Now I wonder if I actually do... Yeah, okay, that's it. Good. Uh, I'm going to move out of the way. Okay. I'm going to stand on top of that. Or, where was I? I was here? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Was it? One, two, three, four, five. Because I might want to move. I could probably dash and push that ball one more space. Where would you go? Oh, I no. can't. Only she could do it. To push it this way, you mean? Yeah. I was here. I'll just move over this way. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to do your shield? Yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so I'm hitting on a five. Yep. Come on, come on, come on! Five. five. Right. The filthy face. It's plus four strength, so that's five, eight, wound on a four. Oh, yes! Good job! This, we go down to An eight. eight wounds. Okay, so now he has minus four toughness and cancel all reactions until the end of the attack. Okay. okay, so really it's just cancel the reaction. Yes. So now the next person could attack. Mm-hmm. And not get hurt by the... The reaction. The reaction. All right, so... I can shoot just once with Oro. And then what? You're going to And then I'll, I'll, move. I can tumble to that ball. And, and then push, push it. it. Okay. Because I think it's important to, again, move that ball. I think it is, but it's important for wounds too. So yeah, shoot with the bow. All right. So I'm going to shoot with the bow. I'm, I'm going to aim, even though I've got this extra speed here. It gives me four attacks. Mm. But I don't want to like... I can't stop the reactions of that other hit. So, I'm going to shoot once. Okay. Alright, so it doesn't matter, I only, I have to crit it. To wound. To okay. wound. Now what is your, what is your crit? 8, 9, or a 10. Okay. The untrained parry. Okay. Ugh. Okay, hey, but the failure doesn't happen. Is cancelled, thanks to you. Okay. okay. Now, so now I have to surge. Well, I get to move. Oh, I get right, to tumble. right, right. So I'm going to go way down here. And well, that's your regular move. No. That's my free move. So now I oh. can still move. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to push the ball. Okay. I'm going to surge. Okay. Get a high roll. I get a high roll. Hit. High, high. I'm going to push it right here. Boop. Man. 
it's okay. We got, we've got, I've got options. I've got options. If he knocks into this ball, I shouldn't even have done that. If he knocks into that ball, the ball moves. What do you mean if he knocks into it? Oh, because I'm going to push him. Because you're going to push him. Oh, so you shouldn't have I even shouldn't done, have that. done that. Yeah, my mistake. It's too now late I now. remember. Okay. Now I know. Yeah, because if I rolled high, it would have won. So why don't I go with him? No. Oh, no, I have to. Ah, oh, okay. One to surge. Yep. Let me have my token. Okay. This is crucial. Oh, um, Pele. Excuse me. Pele got a movement token. Oh, from what? For, if I move four more spaces, I gain a momentum token. Oh, okay. I need five of them, though. Okay. So I am hitting on a five. Come on, get that hit. Come on, five, 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 nine. Look at you. Mm. Do you I have extra luck? luck? No, it's just no. a hit. It's just, just a hit. hit. Oh, okay. luck is with the there other. There you go. So again, plus six toughness, but you get three, so you need a 14 on three dice. Oh, yes, I'm rolling the three dice. Come on. Come on. Eight, eight. Boom. Got it. All right. I'm just knocking these columns. So you wounded here. This goes removed. You gain a survival. Thank you. And that's that. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. So how about the Pele circlets? I can surge the circlet to line you up. Oh, okay. How's that? Because oh. I was going to be able to dash and push that ball again. But since you're going to knock it, it's going to go anyway. Circlet. Okay. Surge. One. Two, three. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, man. There's all oh these. Oh my gosh, there's all these things. All right. Impervious, super dense, side of the Discard resin. Discard this and draw a new hit location if he's not next to this. So he's not going to be. Impervious. Well, impervious is you can't, you can't hurt him. Wound. The monster stumbles backwards and suffers knockback three directly away from the attacker. The attacker is adjacent to another side of the attacker's showered in praise and gains plus one courage. Okay, pretty cool. That's not gonna happen. All right, so we want this on top, and this one. Uh, oh, and the monster gains. Draw a new hit location, which is gonna be that. It's gonna be tough. Okay, you gotta do this. Uh, am I gonna be able to even wound? Um, well, we get the first one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. You probably want this to happen first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going oh, to move... about if we did this? Because if you wound, he suffers knockback three, so you pull this card, and it, you, don't, you don't have to do this one first. It would just then go into the deck. Because when you knock him back three spaces, he's going to be out of range for these. Well, I'm knocking him back one right now. Okay, never right? mind. I'm going to set it up and you'll see what happens. Okay. I'm glad you're here. I'm, I'm trying. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're wounding with that shield. Shh. Uh, wait. No, you, was it a wound? Yeah. It oh. wasn't a wound, it was the card. Got rid of the card. Okay, yeah. great. All right, so now you're going to slam. Yes, so I am spending dash. Are you, are you dash? No. No, you're just moving. Well, why does it have the horse head? That's just movement. Oh, to move... Forward in a straight line if you move four or more spaces and stop adjacent to the monster, it suffers knockback and a minus one toughness until the end of the round. Great. Okay. Now when he knocks into the ball, he moves that ball oh, one we get to five spaces. I mean, we get to uh, roll for let it. Let me make sure that's 1d5. Let me see. Actually, it might be more than that. Uh, bu 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 bu. It moves 1d10 spaces. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Two! Seriously? One, two. All right. Now Lame. you push him one. at one space, and now you're allowed to move up and attack. After you slam, spend an action to move one space and activate a melee weapon, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I have, mm -hmm. spear, with plus two strength. If like you it. wound with a spear, apply the wound roll result to the next selected hit location. This okay. Attack. Okay, so I'm attacking with a spear. I'm standing behind him. I hit on fives. Correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I hit on fives. It's a six. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think you just needed one of those. 
those to actually work. All right, uh, well, you can surge, surge to hit him, but now you're not getting the plus two strength. But you should probably do um, that. I should probably do that. Because I'm behind him. Man, that plus two strength would be really helpful. Because he's not next to, he's not, well, yeah, you're right. You want to do it. Well, wait, what's my strength? Three. Six. And six. So you wound on a six. I wound on a six. Ugh. I still say you do it. Do you it. You want to try and get All these right. wounds, right? Okay. So I'm spending to surge to go again. Okay. Hitting on. You spent it. Yeah, that's over there. Okay. Hitting on five. Five. Two okay. hits. Nothing critical wise, right? All right. So we are going to do the iridescent breastplate. First. Okay. All right, so you wound on a six. I have three strength base and three strength on my spear. Come on, get this six. Yes! All right, wound, mark that down. We're down to seven, so here you go. So I gained my first level of spear proficiency. The monster stumbles backwards. It suffers knockback three directly away from the attacker. One, two, three. He hits the ball again. again. Mm-hmm. 1d10. Yep. 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3. Now, since he's out of range, you can't hit this card. Okay. So it just goes over here. Oh. That was what I was talking about. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Pretty helpful. Pretty helpful. Now, if you were standing adjacent to a Survivor, they would have congratulated you. But I am adjacent. No, it's technically not adjacent. And what would I have gotten with the congratulations? So courage. Oh, courage. man. Hey, doing pretty good. I know. And he's not adjacent to any. So that's everyone's turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Start, monster control. Starting to a new round. All right. Beginning of the monster. So far, this is actually kind of fun. This is a cool fight. What did he start at? 11? 11. Okay. We've done four, but we've got we've got. We've actually done more. We've actually done six. Yeah. Okay. All right. Start of his turn. He's not next to his ball. Mm -hmm. He's a little mm -hmm. upset. Okay. So then we just go right to. So he does a full move toward the ball. Nope. That card does not. Come oh, to that's play right. At all. That's right. Okay. Ricochet shot. Well, guess what? Do not perform this card. Instead, perform ground pound, then basic action. I forget what. So we don't do the card. So ground pound. If the monster, the monster slams the ground, all adjacent survivors suffer bash. No one's adjacent. The vibration creates a natural ramp. Move the ball 1d10 spaces towards him. You should roll that. Four. One, two, three, four. Good, so it's still not next to him. Okay. Then we perform basic action. Basic action is... Stinky. Three attacks. Closest knockdown survivor, closest threat in range. Well, again, it's gonna be me. Really? Are you okay with that? Mm-hmm. I still have two in the legs. Okay. It's the worst. Three attacks, hits on threes, so really eights. Okay. One hit. One hit. For four damage, I'm gonna see where it hits me. So the body, I'm gonna dodge it. Okay. Full move the monster towards the resin ball. One, two, three. So that's the thing. I think it should, I don't know if it should stop here towards or, it. I think it stops actually as soon as it touches. Okay. So that's where he is. Okay. Because he's got to get back to his ball friend. All right. Oh. Huh? Circlet. One, two, three, four, five. I could do a nice tumble action, but yes, circlet is first with Pele. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't see any crazy hit locations. Monster performs ground pound, so that's a reflex no matter what, meaning people suffer bash. Okay, that is next. If so it should Jason, be the one that it should be the bow. Put that bow. on top. Okay. Uh, here's the impervious one. So, okay, we don't, he's next to it, so we don't discard this. The monster glide, guides the attack 
into the side of the resin dung ball, making a demoralizing echo sound. Unless the attacker is deaf, they lose all positive attribute tokens mm. and one survival. Mm. Push that one down. Yeah, that's not good. And then wound, if you wound him, he suffers knockback three, directly away from the attacker. So, let's see. The reflex would be the good one to attack from range. Then the iridescent arm. It's going to be you me wound with the him, shield, right? Well, not the shield. The shield, you're not going to get any, any extra bonuses now. No, I'm not, but I don't, we don't want to pull two wounds. I think I just attack three times. I attack with all my attacks with the bow. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to knock him back. If I wound with it, he's you don't have to stand adjacent to him to knock him back. Nope. Oh, I'll okay. Just shoot my then arrows yes. And how's that? Uh, great. Okay, so that was Pele, right? Yeah. Oh, one, two, three, four. Get me my extra momentum token. If I can stack up enough, how many do I need? I need five. Okay. That final punch is gonna come in <laughs> to gain my proficiency. You're winding up this entire right. time. All right, so Oro's gonna attack. Okay, so Oro gets four attacks. Okay. So plus one speed. Uh, I hit on a six, I hit on fives. Okay, good. I only okay. wanted to. Right. Because we don't want to pull some crazy traps. All right. So the first one, I have six, seven, so I wound on a five. Okay. With the filthy claws. Nope. He performs brown pound. The ball moves towards him. Which is, which is where, where he is. is. All right. And then your distant arm. Come on. Sorry. It's okay. It's no, okay. It would have been great. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. So here's my free move. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to actually move. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to surge to push. Two spaces. That was two wounds right there I missed out on. Hmm. Can you circle it again? You want me to? Well, well wait. Yeah. No, that's good. Am I going to be, are we even? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, circle it. Right? And then this will go as headband. Yeah. All right, I'll circle it. Okay. You know, the top one is really nothing. I. it's a good thing. Alright, so then if you do this, you pull this one instead. Like this goes away. No. Alright, that's it. So, we can't do anything you unless... You need the shield guy to go in. The shield or the pickaxe. Yep. Okay. So, I will then just pick up a canthus. With the spear? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so what's the failure? If you fail, perform burrow. Oh, okay. So basically, if you fail, you lose one survival. That's it. Yeah, but don't, doesn't he gain like... No. He doesn't gain plus six toughness? He gains plus six toughness, yeah. So I'm gonna fail. Okay, then this card goes away. It's not like you're forced to hit with the shield. Yeah, the shield's pulling this out. Oh. Um, but it's not that bad if you fail, rather than going with the shield, surging with the shield. All right, so you just want me to one, two, three, four, five, move there and attack him, the spear? Um, I think your shield should get one attack. You think my shield should go now, so 
one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You want to attack? Hitting, Hitting on, on fives. fives. Crit. Combo master. Combo master. Two, Two hits. Okay. So one. Two. This cancels because he's not next to it. We okay. pull an extra card. Okay. There you go. Wow. Okay. So you need a 14. First one, 12, 12 13, 14. 14. So this is a wound, and you get a survival. It's not a wound. Not a wound, sorry. You okay. removed it. Second one, same thing. Yes. Same thing. Survival. I'll take, I got it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back up Well, guess max. what? I think you surge and hit with the shield. Right? Surge. We don't know what's coming up now, but... Well, I th well, unless it's a trap, but yes, I think I surge. Okay. Okay, so uh, hitting on a five. Yep. One hit. Here it is. Oh, it's the same thing. Discard this and draw another card. Oh, the monster crushes a keystone. Move the ball 1d5 spaces towards the monster. Cancel the reaction on this hit location. Okay, so... You basically just get to. Um, the ball's gonna come back to him, though, unfortunately. That's if I. No well, matter what? Yeah, no matter what. So now you get to just try to wound with it. So that's one, four. So you wound on an eight. One, four. I don't get extra strength or anything for the no. shield, no. So I, I wound on an eight? Yes. Oh, that does not sound you so good. You can do it. You can do it. It's better than what I did. Oh my god. Eight. <laughs> I almost. I, I <laughs> cracked, cracked it. it. Look at that. I cracked him on the head. Hey, great job. I cracked him on the head. Six he years. actually already had that crack there. I forget where he was. All right. He was I, here. The right? ball moves or one. He was here. Oh boy. I think it's there. Yeah. I think it was here. He moves one deep, ten spaces towards. Did you take down the wound? I did. Down to six. One. Goes. So he's adjacent now. Don't worry. We're all gonna get crushed. Oh, I I circled it, didn't I? I can already. I can go. I can push him. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five. Dash. Push. Uh -huh. you okay with that? Yeah. So dash. I'm spending a survival to dash. Okay. I push that ball. This is the one d five, right? Yep. Five. So that's three. Three. One. Two, three. Okay. Okay, hey! You got a wound out of that? No, wait, was that a surge? No, but I can't surge to do anything. But yeah, I wouldn't surge. That's just. One away? Oh, you could attack. I could attack. But we don't him. know what's coming up. Let's. let's okay, we're gonna it again. save it. We're gonna save it. Okay. Let's circle it again. So now it's the monster's turn. New round. Alright, over here. Okay, beginning of his turn, he doesn't use power forward. Draw a card. Okay, do not perform this card. Instead, perform ground pound, then basic action. Backspin shot. Ground pound. All adjacent survivors suffer bash. Oh, Wait, can we tumble? We can't. No. We can't. No. Nope. Okay. Alright, so now... That's both our characters. Do we? Are we the ones that both have... I have Tumble and Rhythm Chaser. Rhythm Chaser. So we both fall down, so we lose our Rhythm Chaser. Okay. That's me and you. Okay. Then, ground pound, then basic action. So again, closest knockdown survivor. So let's have him go after me again. Right. Okay. Because I still have a lot of okay. evasion. So he hits on sevens instead of eights. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. And he's targeting me, so I gain an insanity because I'm the controller. Okay. So this is uh, sevens. How many attacks? Three. Three. Two. Okay. Four. Four damage. 
the legs and the body. So I'm going to dodge the legs. And take, and take four the in the body. Yep. Okay. So I'm down to one survival. One survival? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I can't really be the attacker. That's controller. okay. It's okay. All right. And then he full moves. Uh, full move monster towards your done. One, two, three. Right there. Okay. Um, Is that I'm it? I'm already knocked down. Yep, that's it. Oh, it was the basic action. Yeah. Okay. All right, six wounds. Wow, this is... It's tough. I missed out on those two. Okay. All right. Uh, so, how about I shout here? Let me circle it first. Okay. Just so we can plan out. Okay. Okay, there's, okay, there's a white those. card. Here's this other one. Oh. Man, it's, that's horrible. All right, so this is a failure. That's when... Oh, this is crushes the keystone. Okay, so not. So this is fine. So this is just super dense. If you fail, something bad happens. So, but the best person to attack... Is the bow, right? Is usually the bow. All right, reflex. Turn to face the attack directly away from the attacker. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. The monster beats its wings. All survivors in its blind spot suffer knockback seven. Okay, well, I gotta move. Okay. Then I think we're probably gonna get the bow person up. They're going to attack. Yeah. For these two. If the attacker is within three spaces of the monster, they are grabbed and smashed into the ball. Place the attacker in the nearest unoccupied... All right, so the attack... Definitely the bow is going to go. Okay, so I'm going to have Cupid shout okay. to get her up. Okay. So let me have that shout token. Okay. Great. So this is Cupid. Okay, yep. Yeah. Let's, uh... Now. Should Cupid... Move. Also move. Before. Now, what it, What was the reflex? It's going to turn to face the attacker or spin this way and shoot. So you're fine where you are, but I don't know if other cards are going to affect you. Like, do you dash now to come back here? So that I can potentially come back and stomp him? Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm going to dash. Two, three, four. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, Pele, we forgot to move him. One, two, three, four. He gains a token. Oh, <laughs> yes, he does. Can we like use him? Oh no, he circled it. Never mind. He's a, yeah, he's okay. using a circle. All right. So now I'm gonna go here with Aura. Are you gonna move away? Or are you gonna I'm stand gonna, right I'm there? I'm gonna move away. Okay. Have to be away then. So this is there. your free. No. This no, is this is your real one. move. Okay. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to attack. We get four attacks. Okay. Hitting on fives. Three hits. Okay. Which is good. Those are the three that we know. All right. So let's do the iridescent back. Iridescent and back. Okay. So I have. Six, seven, so I wound on a five. Back to this whole shenanigans. Wound on a five? Yep. Okay. Here it is and back. Here we go. Six. Wound. wound. So it's here or down to five. Now reflex. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. Then it beats his wings. All survivors in the blind spot suffer knockback seven. Okay, which fine. Which is right here. Next is iridescent leg. He's next to his ball, so this doesn't come into play. Okay. Wound on a five. Mm. No. Failure. If the attacker is within three spaces, I get shoved out. But okay. I'm not. Now this carapace. Okay. So he's plus six, nothing, so 18. Correct. Okay. Eight. Mm, I have seven. Nope. So it's a failure. Okay. Lose one survival. <sighs> okay, you're done. That's you're all I done. can really do. Okay. Wow, I like man. She's not not. Now you like, can actually move. 
Uh, now I can right. actually move. So this is a bow. I just want to mark my proficiency because I finally did that. So yeah, I'm gonna just move away. Away, yeah. To maybe towards the far One, I can't two, this. Three, four, five. I'm dropping my bow because I'm not gonna really do much with it. <sighs> All right. Okay. Now we gotta get. Yeah, we don't know what's coming but up. We don't know what's coming up, and we have the ability to pounce. Well, and he's you can near push. His ball. You can push, and it's gonna push the ball away. Okay. So You're yeah, let's have Haley circle it because look at this getting down. Oh the gosh, six. yeah, that's very scary. All right, Haley's circleting. Okay. There's still five ones left. Oh, yeah, no trap yet. All right. Filthy wings. Swarm of bot flies. First strike impervious, so this has to come up first. A swarm of bot flies gushes out from under the dung beetle knight armor. Roll a d10, add your courage. The result is greater than six. You boldly ignore the flies and archive this card. Otherwise, suffer one brain damage and are knocked down. Okay. Or we do these two, because you only do two attacks, right? Yes. With the spear. Reflex, perform ground pound, then perform basic action targeting the attacker. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. The monster beats its wings. All survivors in blind spot suffer knockback okay. seven. So if we did this one, filthy wings, if you failed, he pushes you away, and you, this doesn't happen. So if you do that first, then you got, you got a chance to do two wounds, but if you do the second one... Does knockback one, mean I fall down? No. Oh, it, just it doesn't. You back. Oh, okay. So I think you just do these, and then we know the bot flies is coming. Okay. So I am going to move forward in a straight line. Yep. Punch in So wall. now he suffers not, not back, back so and a this. minus one toughness. Oh, minus one toughness. Okay, good. So I'm going to move the ball. Push that ball. Ten spaces. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it starts turning nine, which I don't even know if that's on camera anymore. There's the ball up here. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. All right. Five. Okay. So he gets knocked back one space, and then now you move I up. move. You don't have to spend anything. Oh, I don't have to spend anything. Okay. To activate a melee weapon with plus two strength. There you go. So you got to hit. I have to hit on sixes. Sixes. Get some wounds here. You're doing good. Oh, 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 oh. I can't wound. You can't hit. Well, I'm going to have to surge. I don't know if you surge. No. Wait, is minus one toughness for the whole round? Yeah. Till the end of the round. Pele's coming in for that kill. <laughs> He's I know, right? Uh, it's up to you. We've got two attacks. See, we know what these next two are. Yeah. So do we... What Actually, so if you hit, what would you wound on? So he has 11 toughness. And what you would I hit? Six, I have... Six. So you wound on fives, which is the same as me hitting with the bow on five. So yeah, I think a surge is the way to go. You're right. Okay. Okay. And on sixes. Two hits. All right. So filthy wings. What does plus one luck give me? When you attacking right now. It's critting. You crit on a 9 or a 10. When you wound. When I wound, Welcome yeah. Welcome to okay. the Kingdom Death Monster. Okay, thanks. First first time. Filthy Wings. Filthy Wings. Failure. Turns like this and knocks you back 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's that. And guess what? We're definitely going to be... Oh, this trap could be on the very bottom. Wow. We need to get these. Wounds. Okay. What's up? Still down. 
Do I just stay down? Well, we know, yeah, I think so, because this is the, the flies. Mm. Oh, and yeah. You have to add your courage. I only have one courage. Oro, the one way over there, has all the, all the courage. All the courage. But we don't want... Hey, I might be able to shoot once and pull that one card. But it's the monster's turn right now. Mm -hmm. New round. Five wounds left. I don't stand up, do I? No. The end of this. Okay. Okay. His turn performs this, which is nothing. Oh, okay. We shuffle his cards. We do? Yeah. Oh. Keep that ball away from him. Okay. Stop. Closest knockdown survivor. Me. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, so the ball just stays. Okay. And then he's going to perform basic action after this, okay. too. So this is frig. Three attacks, accuracy three. Four, five. Five. Hits on fives. Tumble, Rhythm Chaser. No, because you lost that one. Three attacks hitting on fives. I don't like these odds. That's not that bad right now. Definitely not that bad, because guess what? It's only one. Nope. You're insane, aren't you? Yeah. You blocked the first one. Because of that placard. I blocked the first one. Right? Yep. Okay. And you didn't take any damage, so you don't suffer bleed. Now he performs basic action. Okay. The placard only happens once around, though. Oh, once around? First hit each round. Okay. Now it's the same thing. Three, Three attacks, hits. hitting on fives, but you still have your dodge. I can dodge when I'm on the ground? Yep. Yeah. Yes! Wow. No hits. Hey, we haven't been hitting him. He hasn't he has been, been hitting us. <laughs> All right, and then he full moves towards the ball. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's still not excellent. And he breaks through this. Oh. And he's not next to it. Great. Yep, you stand up. Okay. Circlet. Um. Well, let's see here. I think I'm going to shoot the arrow to pull the one card. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so I'm gonna go here and shoot once with the bow. Okay. Because it's nine range. What do you hit on? A two. There it is. First strike impervious. A swarm of bot flies gushes out from under the dung beetle's armor. Roll a d10 and edge your courage. That should only be if you're standing next to them. It is. Well, maybe it's like, and they follow where it came from. Um, but you're right if you're next to it. So I have one, two, three, four, five courage. Ten. ten. It's greater. Roll a d10 and edge your courage. The result is greater than six. It is. Ignore the flies and archive this card. Okay. Now, I'm going to tumble. About over there. Okay. All right. Uh, now you're going to circle it. Now we're going to circle it. One of There's these only three cards. Bot flies. Oh, no. This thing, before attempting oh, to wound, geez. perform ground pound. Cancel the reaction on the hit. Before attempting to wound, perform ground pound. Ground pound is he knocks if you're more. if you're next to him. Right, so you can't be next to him now. Okay, and here's bot flies, and here's the trap. So we're probably gonna put the trap on because we've got to pull it. What is the trap? All do? survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, it picks him up and leaps high into the air. The monster lands next to the resin ball and slams the attacker inside. Place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. Attacker suffers five damage to one location and gains the Smell World Survivor status card. All right. Well, I have five. Move directly fours. towards the attacker. 
Oh man, that would have been great. We should have circleted. When? To put this on top. And then I would have shot with the arrow because he can't get to me because I'm nine away. Hmm. We had no idea what the trap was. Yeah. Now we know. Now we know. Okay. So his trap's not that bad with this bow with right. nine range. Great. Okay. So this is super dense. So there, before, before attempting to wound. You have a reaction? Before attempting to wound. So that you have to do this. So you can't be next to him. So... We gotta put the, this on Trap top. First. So someone's gonna get smell, smell well, world. I say start. this. He's got fives and fours, so he can take the five damage. I don't know what smell world does. Okay, so. When you gain this, remove your survivor from the board and place them on this card. At the start of your act, roll a d10, and on a result of eight or plus, you escape. Otherwise, you gain a bleeding token. A survivor adjacent to the ball may spend an. an may spend an action. If they do, select one survivor to escape. Oh, okay. Place yourself adjacent to the ball, archive this card, and gain the Dusk, the Dung Milk status card. Okay, so you go in the ball, on your turn you can try to escape, or someone just goes over and helps, helps you escape. escape. And, and then, then when that goes away, I gain this. Else. When you gain this, you are knocked down and suffer one damage to your body that ignores armor. Okay. So it's a light injury. It ignores armor. Oh. Okay. Gain one e minus one evasion and minus one accuracy token. Oh, okay. While you have the dung milk, you are stinky. So he throws you in the ball and you're gonna throw up when you come out. But we've gotta pull the trap. So get me over there. So one, two, three, four, five. I got a dash to get there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and you just got to attack. Oh god, I have to be able to hit. Yep. So, here's the survival. So, two attacks hitting on fives. Yes. Which is scary. There okay. we go. One, it's a trap. Okay. okay. Towards the attacker, he's Jason, he leaps you up in the air. Slam, place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. So let's put him way back here. Okay. Uh, let's put him here. No, let's put him here. Tiger suffers five damage to one hit location. Do it up. The, the head. head. Okay. That's all my armor there. Okay. Okay. Now, you are... You're here. So you're outside. You're okay. in the ball right now. Okay. Alright, now we get to shuffle this hit location. So, um, oh, that was, oh, I'm sorry, that was Pele's turn, right? Because he did his thing. Circle it? He circled it. He did not move yet. I need, Correct. To, I need to move him. Need I should have moved him before you're we right. did that. So, uh, I'm just going to one, two, three, four. Okay. Actually, four. Okay. I have four tokens. Okay, great. <laughs> great. Keep winding. Keep winding I'm that winding fist. Up. I'm winding up. All right. So, now we have over here. Frig. Frig might headband. I think you might have banned this time. I think that's a great idea. He's gonna throw that ball at us. I think that's a great idea. Because the only stinky person is uh, Oro. He's gonna throw. He's gonna knock that ball into me. Okay. So headband, so we know what mm -hmm. card's coming up. Okay. Um, for this stinky survivor, turn to face and perform baller. He's gonna throw that again, which we probably don't want. For this threat, field of view in range. Probably this one. Oh, this is one where if he moves, um, he does a ton of damage. Okay. But if you are the furthest threat, 
you get the placard. How about you get the placard, you surge to get your shield up, and you'll be able to dodge. And we okay. put this on top. Okay. And let's move you like to the corner somewhere. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So you're hopefully the furthest. Okay. People saw the camera. Mm -hmm. Surge it up. Surging to, to shield. Put your shield up. And I just saw if you use bladder, you actually can activate a weapon and shield. So now bladder feel is more appealing to me now. Yeah. Pretty okay. cool. And now, that's it, right? Um, did she go? Yeah, I, I shot the flies. Oh, shot. And I ran around. Ran around. Circle it. Okay, yeah. Monster's turn. Okay. New round. The start of our act. Okay. Okay, so he he's next to his ball friend. He throws it around, destroys this. Okay. Then he's going to, the stinkiest person, because no one else is stinky but her, and he pushes the ball, that number is big. Two dice, two dice, two dice. One, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, misses me, which is good. Full move the monster towards the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and now it's his turn. Furthest threat field of view in range. Move me back. Oh yeah, you, yeah, I'm so sorry. You gotta move me back, you didn't read that off. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So actually you would have been cl closest. Well, let's see, let's see. I know we're going back, but if he could only have moved seven at his most, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you would have been there. You're saying if I didn't move at all? Yeah. Because he wouldn't move any further. He goes to his ball, and now no one's within range. So what happens when no one's in range? Ground pound? He does this decisive, defensive spit salve. If there are any, put an archived sentry carapace hit location back on top of the hit location deck. The monster flies back to its ball, places it adjacent to the resin ball with the ball in its blind spot. So one of these goes on top. Oh, okay. And then he goes like this. So he doesn't attack anybody? Nope. Okay. So that's what you would have done. You would have done that because more than likely he would have went all seven spaces. Uh-huh. And then he would have attacked anybody. So that's where you would have gone. Okay, So he right. still would have been the furthest. Okay. okay. So he hits nobody. Right. Now my shield doesn't, it goes away, right? Yep. Okay. Unless he hits you this round. Oh. The hit, the next time you were attacked lasts until your next act. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, so. So it's now our turn. At the start of your act, roll a 1d10. So you gain a bleed, right? Yes. Okay, okay. but we can always move to get you out of there. Okay. All right. Circlet. Circlet. Pele. We have a brand new shuffle deck. Okay, so of course we got the carapace. Super dense monster crushes the keystone. Failure, the attack is within three spaces. Okay. Reflex before ground pound. Then perform basic action targeting the attacker. All right, so here's the deal. I have worked up so much momentum that I could attack. Now remind me what happens when you punch him. Remove them all. I remove all my momentum mm -hmm. and roll a d10. Okay. I gain that much luck and strength when attending to wound the first hit location for this attack. Meaning, I would gain so much luck. You would have to, though, actually hit him. 
Yes, I would have to hit him. Okay. You're correct. And what do you hit on? At the start of the showdown, when you attack, if you have fire, remove them all and remove. What do I? What do I hit on? Yeah. Oh, I can't get behind him, can I? I hit on. I hit on eights. I hit on eights. Not down. All right, maybe I don't. Maybe I keep. Because here's the thing. I was gonna try and get a lot of luck, and then do this, so I would cancel the reflex if I critted him. Oh. Um. But I kind of want to get behind him. Yeah, uh, yeah, an eight is not that great. I could push that ball out of that way. What, right now? Right now? No, not right now. Oh. Okay, so hold on a second. Perform ground pound, then perform basic action targeting the attacker. So if I put this on top and shot with the bow, uh, if you hit me in the body, I'm in... Deep, deep trouble. Doo -doo. I'm in deep doo doo. So this one goes there. The shield could do that. He's helpful because he can push people around. Super dense. Failure within three spaces. Oof. I could crit that one though. Oh, but if I have to hit. I need his you back. You have to hit, yeah. Okay. So you want me to push the ball away first? I don't want to push the ball away first. And then you could come in and attack? What? One, two, three, four, five, dash, push. Yeah, but then I'm not attacking. Right. So you cancel the reaction on the monster crush the key, so move the ball one day towards the monster. Could do that. I could do that. I, we could do that. Hold on a second. Let me make sure I, I'm lining myself up. Oh man. Yeah. 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 Look. Okay. Oh, Pele, he's winding up. I would spend both <laughs> my survival to do this, though. You would have to hit on a seven, and then you'd wound on what, a two? So how about this? How about one, two, three, four, five, dash. Okay. You spend your action to rescue your friend, and then you surge to push it. Oh, okay. Right, so that's your dash. So my action is to rescue my friend. A survivor adjacent to the ball may spend an action. They do select one survivor to escape. Place yourself adjacent to the ball. Archive this card. Gain the dung milk status card. Dung milk status card? Okay. I see you. So that was what? Minus one accuracy, minus one. When you gain this, you are knocked down and suffer. Star damage to your body. One. That ignores armor. So a light injury. What actors, what tokens? Gain minus one evasion and minus one accuracy. Okay. So I go. No, so that just goes away. Okay. And a minus one accuracy. Okay. And I gain a light injury to the body. All right. So. Started your act, so you already went. It's a shame. Because if we didn't try to get out. Okay, well, you're gonna. But how can I get to you now? Who? I can't get to I can't get behind them. Because you're blocking me up. One, two, three, four. I can't get there. What if you go what if I move this over here? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well then I dashed here. Oh, that's that's much better. Yeah. And then I'm down Put here. Put him there. Okay, good. Push him. Push that ball. Oh, five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Get in there. Are you ready? Yeah, did I have to surge to do that? Yeah. Because yeah. that was my action. Mm -hmm. Okay. So surging. I hope this is good. 
I really hope this is worth your stupid One, two, fist. three, four, five. Dashing and surging. These are my last two survival points. I this is watch. actually really scary. I, I don't know if I watch. should be doing this. I can't watch. Propulsion drive. Spending all my momentum tokens. I get two while so attacking. Two dice? When you attack, if you have... Remove them all. Roll a d10. I'm attempting to wound the first selected hit location for this attack. It's not like before I hit, so yeah, I have to do this before I even attempt to hit. So oh, wait, what? I have to roll this, bend it, and then I have to try to hit him. What are you rolling this for? This is my... how much I add. Oh. I add oh my eight god. Oh strength my god. and eight, and eight luck. luck. I wish you could add eight to hit. Alright. Propulsion drive. <laughs> oh my god. One hit. Oh my god, you are so lucky. That was a one fist. <laughs> the hidden mandibles. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. I crit. But there's a reflex. It doesn't matter. A crit cancels the oh, reflex. Okay. That's why I did. A crit cancels the reflex. I crit. Okay. What do I crit on? Tell everybody. You crit on a two. Five. Critical <laughs> hit with my fist with propulsion drive. You better mark an uh, action. I am. You are I am. a specialist now. I am. I built up this whole momentum with the circlet going like this. Alright. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. The attack ruins the precise mandibles inside the monster's face. If the attacker is within two spaces of the monster and able to consume, oh, I am. They may they may spend two survival oh. to nimbly eat a glob of resin spit gaining plus 1 permanent evasion. Persistent injury broken mouth which affects <laughs> some AI cards. I just broke his Did you see that move? I did. Do you want me to reenact it for you? Yes, I do. <laughs> and then he went like this. Right? <laughs> that worked out. That was amazing. That worked out, right? That was amazing. It's down to four wounds. Oh, okay. We actually did a wound on that. Okay, that's great. That tracker hasn't moved in like six turns. Oro is gonna shoot now. Okay. Gonna... I don't even remember what the next hit the location is. The next one is, if I'm within three, it's bad news. Bad news bears. Okay. So I'm actually gonna back up. Um, um, how about that? Okay. Now I'm gonna shoot. One shot. I hit on a two. Nine. Perfect hit. He's away from this. And that. The monster crushes Keystone. Move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster. Cancel the reaction on this location. Well, I think I first, I think I actually I do this first. I wound. So I wound on a five. Okay. There Excellent. it is. Down to three. The ball moves. Nice. But stops. Gotta push that ball. I don't know who's gonna push it. Gotta push that ball. Oh, yeah. I'm moving away now because I can tumble. Oh, he Not can. Not tumble, but I can. Frig can shout and get. Him up to push that ball. Yeah. Oh, yes. Shout. Frig. Spending a survival. Stand me up, move me over. Uh, you already went though. What do you mean? Because at the beginning of your act, you rolled the ball. You tried to escape, and you failed. That was an action? That's his turn. He failed, so he stuck, stayed in the ball. So I don't shout. Nope. So he is... That's movement. That's not shout. He is upset. Oh, no. The ball's nice You're to gonna us. You're going to get swiped. He's going to toss that ball at me, and we're all going to get knocked down. We're just knocked down. You have no survival to stand us up. I, oh, no, I do not. But
but he's gonna stand up. Oh, okay. He's got. Alright, he's down to three one. wounds. We can do this. I know. Okay. New round, right? Mm-hmm. Start the monster's turn. He. Um, I think it goes in front of him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just get knocked down. We don't suffer anything else, I don't think. Mm, nope, suffer collision. Collision? Do people have tumble? You got tumble yeah. over there? Yeah, frag. Yeah? Tumble. Roll to see if you don't fall down. Oh, yeah. I Stand don't. Stand up. You jumped over that ball like this. Okay. Something like that. Something like that, yeah. All right. Now he's going to shoot that ball over to you down there. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's next to you. It's right next to me. Then he full moves towards it. Seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You better get out of there. All right. Now it's the. Top. Rhinoceros charge. Furthest threat field of view in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Poor Pele. Oh, Pele. What? This is the one where if he moves, it, he does that much damage. He just, I, he I just can't moved, shout? He I just know, moved 14. Can shout. He just moved 14 spaces. No, I thought it was 7. Beginning of the turn. He's upset. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Persistent injury, broken mouth. Nope, none of this is helping. Nope, okay. And I don't have any survival. I've got to try to camp this, though. Okay, so he hits on 3. Four, five. It's on fives for fifteen damage. One miss. This is two hits. Come on, Pele. Come on, man. The waste in the body. So that's two severe injuries? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get to get rid of one of them with the dried acanthus. The waste in the body. Where's those severe injury charts? Over there. I spent all that survival. Let's see, body, waist, I'm going to dodge, not dodge, but I'm going to cancel the body shot to my dry decanthus. Okay. I'm rolling a severe injury chart. For your waist. For my waist. Ten. Oh my god. Belly up! The blow sends you sprawling and you are knocked down. But that's it. I say, bring it. Bring it. Don't get caught. He was. <laughs> Do you see who this was? <laughs> you put your fist up in front of your body in order to I block, block and just send you backwards. All right, then perform ground pound, which is everybody everyone just gets knocked down, and then the but adjacent everyone adjacent, and then the so ball. wait 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 this doesn't push you back your blow nope, nope. okay so you're nope. already knocked out well then, this person doesn't get knocked down nope. Nope. I know that okay now the I'm ball moves eight spaces to him dang it back to him. Was I already on the ground? I was. 
You were, yes. So, so do you see what happens? This is forever going to be Pele. I hope you know that. <laughs> okay. Pele right here. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> the one-armed bandit? <laughs> Uh-huh. All right. Okay, okay. All right, Nostra's charged. 15 damage. Paley didn't care. He don't care. He don't care. He loves rhinoceros. That's his spirit animal. <laughs> That's what he... All right, three wounds. Pele? Can we headband, please? <laughs> he's got a headband. <laughs> After all of that, for a, and then he's going to move to gain a it's, momentum. It's, yeah, he sure is. All right, discard this card and draw a new card. Okay. So, the monster guides the Risen Ball into unless the attacker's death, making a demoralizing echo sound. Unless the attacker's death, they lose all positive attributes and survival. Guides the ball into the side, making a demoralizing echo sound. Okay. Oh, impervious. So, that's kind of crappy. Okay, well, this one's good. If you hit with a clever shield, you gain plus four strength when attempting to wound, and then if you wound with a clever shield, the monster suffers minus four toughness. And cancels all reactions until the end of the attack. Okay, so this is a wound. Um, the shield, so you get four, so it would be five, six, seven, eight. So you wound on fours when you hit the shield. Wait, wounds? Six, seven, oh yeah. Yep. We gotta move that ball away. Because we don't want this, because this is impervious. So it's not gonna do much. And then we got the carapace. So one, two, three, four, five. There, I can move and push it right now with Cupid. Cause Cupid has a minus one accuracy token, so mm. like. Okay. So we did this, you wound, and then. Minus our toughness and cancel all reactions. One, two, three, four, five, and then I could stand behind him with this guy. Yeah, I think we did With the this. shield. Okay. And, um, minus four toughness cancel all reactions until the end of the attack. I don't know when we put the carapace in. Well, the problem is that when I'm attacking with the shield, it's only once. Yeah, I know. Um, I think we do this. I think we do this. The bow, the bow might come into play here. So one, two, three, four. Ooh. Oh, I see. Five. Yeah. Oh, you got a push. One, it. two, three, four, five. Yeah, I do have to push it. Okay. I'll push that ball. Ten. One, two, three, four, five. Do we get the pick? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Sure, you pushed it. Yeah. Right? Okay. You pushed it. Don't push it towards me. Okay. Okay. And So that was him. Yeah. Okay. So he could oh. dash. No, keep your survival. Because why don't you just dash around? Because well, if you do it, you're going to get that survival back because you're... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. but you're not. What? Yeah, I, I say you dash around. Okay. Here, oh, you only want to hit though, right? Yeah. So that's what I was saying. I oh. would rather... So maybe you don't... He dashes. Okay. Okay. One, two, three... How about that? Because he's going to point over to that ball, so. Okay, and then you're going to move. Move. Okay. And attack. I like it. So one attack, hitting on a five. No, yeah. Eight. Eight. Seven. Sixes. Six? Oh, no, five. Right? Because you have plus one accuracy here. You got plus one, one on there. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, shield bash. Oh, God, no. I think it's a surge. He's got three wounds. This is our chance to, you know. Five. Yes. Good job. Okay. Filthy face. Now you wound on a four, right? Four. 
and one, Five, four. Six. I have four strength here, right? Three, four. But I get Five. plus four strength. Yeah. Right. Four, four, eight. You wound on a four. You just say, yeah, right eight, four. Yeah. Cool. I wound on a four. Yep. That's what I said. Do it. Get that wound. No. Why don't we ever move poor Pele? Start this propulsion drive up again. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to start shooting with the bow then. Mm -hmm. I'm shooting, I'm shooting all four shots. Gotta pull those cards out. Man. Get on fives, two cards. Thanks. All right. The resin ball. Oh, we discard this because he's not next to it, and we pull another one. Okay. It suffers knockback three directly away from the attacker. Failure. Is one. All right, so I'm going to do the carapace first. So he has plus 18. So 18. Let's just get it out of the way. Doesn't matter. Failure, I lose a survival. Doesn't matter. Okay, now, iridescent breastplate. A wound on a five. Critical would be pretty sweet here. There it is. Crit. What happens? Take it down to a two first. Yep, taking it down to a two. With a sickening crunch, a hairline fracture shoots across the monster's thick chest. The attacker gains plus one survival and plus one insanity. Oh. The monster gains a minus one toughness token. Oh, yes. This one toughness. I gain that survival. I gain the insanity. I'm at 15. And guess what I'm gonna do? You're gonna I'm gonna surge and shoot again. And shoot again. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Of course. Or uh, let's do this. Do this. Yes. No. So three, three hits. hits. He has two wounds left. How can we do this? One. What happens? I forget. He picks me up. I suffer five damage to a location, and he throws me into that ball. Okay. To the head. I've got armor there. I'm down to two. Okay. That was our, that was our, that was it. I get stuffed into that stupid thing. I don't know where the card is. And he puts me down here. He goes adjacent. I thought the card got archived. There's four, there's four versions oh. of it. Wow, that was our, that was gonna be it. Two wounds, because guess what? His only wound that, the only card he has left is the ridiculous card. All right, so here's the deal. Let's see how we can position him, because obviously this card's coming up. Don't we have the one where we could heal somebody? Reviving tactics, we could fully heal. One person. Yeah. Good point, good point. Now, here we go. You're like, I Furthest that. threat, field of view, in range. Okay, who's stinky right now? Um, Cupid. Cupid stinky. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna throw the ball at Cupid, and then he's gonna move towards Cupid, towards the furthest threat in range. Man, no one has a. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. What? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So again, for this start, so maybe we put him back here. He throws the ball, then he moves. So he's not within range here. Okay. Because what I'm thinking is, again, if this person shields up. Oh, but you already surged. 
I just I think that's going to be it. He's going to push the ball there, and then he's going to move there close to certain field of view and range. Uh, balls here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, he's not going to get the pay lap. Okay. I just, I just, this is just what we do. So I'm in the I'm in that stinky ball right now. Okay. Um, and that's it. Okay. New round. Start of the turn. He swingy swingy swings. Doesn't hit anybody. You're not breaks that this. destroys all this. Okay. You're the stinky person. Shoots that ball over to you. Shoot. 11, 12, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What, it goes oh, over me? I think it just, yeah, it just rolls into you. Let me double check. Um, th through the target, yeah. So I get knocked down. So it rolls over you. Okay. So you take five damage to a location. Just roll and see what happens. To the head. It's a heavy. You don't have uh, Oh, you've got dry to camp this. Oh, I do. And we've got like three back at camp, yeah. so it's okay to if we do these. Okay. Okay, good. That. Now he full moves towards the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now he performs his action, which is this. Furthest threat, field of view and range. Not within range, so right here. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so he's moved 10 spaces, so this okay. is for 11 damage. Okay. Three attacks, accuracy three, four, four five. Where was five? Right on there. You got two oh. on there. So five. And that's it, because three I Three attacks, hitting on fives. Just one of them. Good. Perfect. Because you block one because of the placard. The placard. That's Thank your God. last placard, right? Yeah. And like, guess what? I think you're going to want to dodge this. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to want to dodge 10 damage. Okay. Our turn. Holy cow. Oh, perform okay, ground so pound. all this goes away. Oh no, perform ground pound. He knocks you down. But tumble. No? Yep. Yep. Uh, no, no. Not ground pound. Mm, that's rough. Well, that's tough because Frig's the only one with survival. Uh-oh. Yeah. This is going to be an issue. Well, first of all, you roll to see if you get out. If, I get, if I get out, then I could attack. No one's got survival except for you. And you just fell down. Well, the ball's not next to him, which is good, so he's only going to perform a basic action. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just need to get out. So you have to roll an eight or more. Because there's nothing that Pele can do, except for circle it. Yeah. All right. Or is going to try to escape. She's ready. She does. To come out. Yeah. But don't I start knock down? Uh, no, I don't know. That's if you're rescued. I'm not sure. Read the card. If you're rescued, yes, you do start knock down. Place yourself adjacent to the ball. Gain the dung milk. Okay. Where's that dung Here. milk? Here. So you, uh, when you gain this, you suffer one damage to your body that ignores armor. Huh? Minus one evasion, minus one accuracy. Huh? But I'm not knocked down. No, you're not. Oh, I just escape. Minus one evasion, minus one accuracy. Yeah. So my evasion goes away. I have minus one accuracy. And a damage to your body. A light to the body. Oh, I'm, I am back. Can't keep her locked down. Pele? 
So I still have an action with Oro. Oh, Haley should have went first to circlet it. But what do you mean? This is the start. This happens. This isn't... It's at the start of my act. Yeah. So, during Oro's turn. So now Oro has to attack right now. Oh. Pele should have went first. But Pele can't go first, because that has to happen at the beginning. Oh, no? The act is that person. Oh, I don't know. The act oh, is like the her act, action. I'm sorry. I thought it was the act of everyone at our, our the start no. of our turn. Pele should have headbanded. Sorry, I misinterpreted. I thought it was the start of our turn. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter. I'm going to have Haley actually have been. Yeah. Because there's nothing else he could have done. He's got to move four spaces. Trap was the first card. Did I shuffle these? I don't know. Well, then shuffle them again. No, that's, that's okay. a little too ridiculous. Um, discard this card and draw a new AI hit location. Wow, I could only do one damage, one attack. Wow. And then this is going to happen. Oh, but it's not going to do much damage. Because everyone's right there. Okay. All right, so I want to put this on top. Memory card's full. Okay. I'll explain it. We ran out of tape. Oh. We ran out of the memory card, not tape, obviously. What are we in, 1985? Um, while downloading the memory card onto the computer, I realized that someone was way too tired to continue. Was. So, after three and a half games <laughs> in, one in one day, day, in one sitting, we decided to sleep on the situation. As we dumped the one memory card. Right. Because we cannot kill this guy. This is the longest fight. And it, this it's, is only a level one. Yep. And it's coming down to the end. It's coming down so, to the end. We have um, what we think is a good setup. Right. Would Went to like sleep. To... We woke up. Had breakfast. Drank some coffee. Stared at the board some more. Stared at the board. Stared at the board. Stared at the cards. Yeah. Stared at the board. I had these three hit locations. See, yep, I did shuffle it. Those hit locations, the trap came up again, as we thought. We've got the trap. We've got one, uh, one card, filthy wing, so I could do a wound here, possibly. Um, but then we've got the other, this other crappy one, side of the resin ball. This is one that it's an impervious, and I have to draw another card if he's not next to the ball, which then would be the trap. So we could possibly do one wound in this attack with the bow. I could shoot once and do a damage, but the issue is I would then get rid of what would have been a really ridiculous card, that rhinoceros charge. Whenever he moves, that's the number of damage he does. Then he would go to his basic action, which is three attacks, three accuracy, four damage apiece, which would could rip into anybody right now. At this point, yeah, we've all lost points mm. of armor. But the rhinoceros charge, we might be able to work toward to our advantage. If we moved right next to him, he technically doesn't move any spaces. So the, the attack would only be one damage. This number of spaces is plus one. So three attacks at one damage apiece is much better than three attacks at four damage apiece. Mm -hmm then that would allow us to uh, have people get back up again. For a whole new round. For a whole new round. Intentionally pull the trap card. Because right now I can only it. do one wound and then... We're stuck. Yeah, circle it again and, and then we, all have, we only have one card. Let's just pull the trap card. We have one person with the Canthus left. They could try to take the attack. If not, we lose the Acanthus. And then... We reshuffle the deck, circle it, and go into a new round. Um, Where we left off was uh, she had just come out of the ball, but we yep. had forgot that he still needed to do his move for his momentum right, token. Because he just did the circle it, and now we're going to move him back because right. the rhinoceros charge is furthest threat and field of view in range. So if we move one, two, three, four, I'm going to move all four spaces to get start of building up that momentum again. Then we're going to have. So we had gotten her out of the ball. She's out of the ball. She didn't fall down because she escaped on her own. Right. And now 
instead of attacking, which, oh, so we're going to put the trap on top of the deck. Mm -hmm. We're going to move her one, two, three, four spaces. And that's it. I'm not going to attack. There's nothing else that I can do in my turn. That's it. That would benefit us, yeah. Okay. Now it's a new round. So that moves over to you. Okay. The monster goes. He's going to do Rhinoceros Charge. Furthest threat, field of view in range. Only she is, because he's too far away and she's a threat standing up. Move and attack target. The damage of the following... Oh, because he doesn't do the ball, because of course he's not next to it. Start right. his turn. So three attacks. Accuracy three. I have one evasion, two evasion, three evasion. So hits on sixes. What's that? I thought you have an extra token. All my tokens went away. I had to lose it because um, I, I lost one evasion. I think. So we're hitting on ball. sixes? Three attacks, hitting on sixes, only for one damage. One attack. Wonderful. Okay, one attack. To the body. All right. Which is where you don't have any armor. I have... It's a heavy for me. It is? Yeah. Okay. So I fall down. Okay. Which is okay because... Oh, right. I also suffer two bleed. Wait, really? Yep. I've got four bleeds on me. Okay. Now it's his turn. Well, then he, after damage, bleed to and bash, so I get knocked down. Then he performs ground pound, so everyone gets knocked down around him, and then he moves the ball. That was the other thing. We had a few different layouts, but the ball was going to crash into us. people. But this way, he does ground pound, the ball moves the 10 spaces, it's just going to move one to get to him. So we're still all safe. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the end of his turn. So your two characters get to stand. Mm -hmm. Okay. You actually have one survival left. I so do. you can shout. To get her up. Okay. All right. My last survival. All right. Now, one of your characters, this, this one right here, Freak. It's is going to attack. To pull the trap card. To pull the trap. So I'm not going to use my shield. I'm going to use my fists because, as you pointed out, I get two attacks. Yep, and it's the same accuracy. All we have to do is pull the trap card. So I have a plus two accuracy, so I'm hitting him on sixes. <sighs> okay, come on. I just want to see one. Six or higher. You don't want me to move behind to get a five? How can you get behind him? I can't. Okay. Got there it. is the one. It's a trap card. Slam dunk. All survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. You're already there. If he's adjacent to you, he picks you up. Slams you into the ball, so you are in that area again. You take five damage to one location. Now you've got some armor. Now, this isn't like he's targeting me. And right. I get an insanity because I'm the monster nope. controller. No. Nope. Oh, I thought I could gain it. Yep. All right. By damage. It would be great. Body or the waist. In the You're body fine. or the waist. Body it is. All of my armor. Wonderful. Okay. Safe. Okay. Now we get to shuffle. <sighs> Are you sure there's only one trap card in that whole deck? Yes. As far as I know. Because it seems to be floating to the top. I know. I'm getting some good shuffling for this. Seems to be lighter and lighter every turn. Yeah. Okay, then we're going to be able to get a circlet in here. We just need two wound cards because now I can actually do four full attacks with Oro and that bow. I want you to tell me when to stop doing this. Shuffle. One more. Give me one, one more. more. One more, like. Yes, good. Okay. Ready to go. All right. So, your turn's done because you're in the ball. I'm going to cut it. Okay. Okay. We are going to circle it, correct? Uh, yes. Pele. Pele. He's going to circle it. And then you're going to move. Well, that cut made it so that two things 
don't work. All right, so let's see Don't here. you have a pickaxe? I do have a pickaxe. I do, but a pickaxe is only two attacks. My bow is four. I know, but won't pickaxes help get rid of those cards? Yep, yeah, well, hold on. Let's let's see what they all do again. Okay. So remember, the, the carapace armor, a failure is I lose a survival. So if I fail, it's not that big of a deal. Okay? Swarm of flies is first strike, impervious. I can't do any damage to this. Um, roll a d10, add your courage. If it's greater than six, I ignore this card. Okay? So I have... I have five courage. So I have to roll higher than a one to get rid of this card. And then here you go. If you hit with a club or shield, the monster staggers, it suffers minus four toughness. It cancels the reaction the next attack. Okay. That's only a club or shield. So iridescent helm. So this is one of the cards. I'm going to put this one on top, followed by the bees. flies, because I'm the best one to hit it, and then the armor. Okay. Okay. Then it's probably going to come down to you to finish. And then I'm going to move, because uh, he still has that rhinoceros charge. Okay, but if we stay next to him... Oh, he's got the ball now. You got a token. Gain a token. Yep. <sighs> okay, all right. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go behind him. Okay. So now I get four attacks. I still have plus one speed. I have minus one accuracy, uh, but I'm behind him. So I hit on six, five, six, five. So four attacks hitting on five. So two wounds left. Come on, Oro. Three. Good. It's just three cards that we know. It's our turn. Should I have rolled to get out of the ball? No, because you already went. You were the first one to do everything. Oh, yes. You're right. Okay. So the swarm of flies goes first, because it's first strike. Let's get it out of the way. There it is. So it's higher. So you Ignore don't the get... flies and archive the card. Now we're going to do Iridescent Helm. If you hit with the shield, the monster stagger is four. Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to do this one right here. Okay. Iridescent Helm. Critical. That's not a wound. It's not? Nope. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I needed a four because it has minus one toughness. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, I got to do this. Mm -hmm. Carapace armor, so this is super dense. Doesn't matter, it's a failure. I lose one survival. survival. Okay, well, I can move. Mm -hmm. Now, I am stinky. Yes, you are. So if I move over here. I'm, All right. I'm stinky too. So we've got two new cards coming up. We don't know what they are. Okay. But you can attack. I'm going to attack with my spear. So you're going to go behind him? Yep. I have minus one accuracy. Hmm. I wonder if... So if you... Hmm. What are you thinking? What am I thinking? Well, if you used your action to push this ball away, he is going to do rhinoceros charge against you. For one damage somewhere. For one damage. Which I think you can... Well, if I take one damage on the head... You're fine. That's fine. It's just a heavy. So if you push this away, because look, we're not doing a wound to him. We keep this rhinoceros charge still on top. Okay. All you have to do is push that ball away. You're going to get knocked down, but then I'm going to be able to circle it and shoot again next round. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Push that ball. Three spaces. Okay. Good. And now, yeah, you want to stay there because he's going to do the charge. Okay? Yeah. Because guess what? I'm building up this momentum. Uh -huh. I've got I got three right now. Mm -hmm. New round. Mm -hmm. 
Parnassus yes. charge. Up. What? Pick a target Sorry. that's furthest, right? I'm not going to move. Let's go back to that. Furthest threat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Right. Furthest threat. I'm going back on that one. Okay. Instead of moving, I'll stay next to him. So we, so can, we can pick. pick. We can pick. Okay. Furthest threat in field of view. Well, um, then it's going to be me. It's going to be you because I've got a heavy already yes. on the body. Okay. All right. So three attacks. Uh, what evasion do you have? I have one, two. one, right. two. So hits on fives. Two hits. Two hits for a damage. One damage a piece. The head okay. and the body. Okay, so, so the I head, take a you heavy fall down. to a head, and the body. I still have plenty of armor. Hmm. We're going to see what happens. We're going to play this out. Okay. Because here's the problem. What's the problem now? The problem is he performs ground pound. Now, and we got knocked down. Everyone next to him gets knocked down. So if I went here, he would have done two damage to me. That might have been better. But because you would have stayed. Oh, no, he would have came over to me. He would have moved to you, and then I would have been up. So then I should have moved. You should have moved here. Same thing. So now he's just one space over. So we're going to do this. Yeah. Nothing has changed. The cards were here. It's just a little difficult. Right? Yeah. Because, yeah, if you moved the one space, you would have been the furthest threat. He would have went over. Then he ground pounds you. I'm still up. And changes. Sorry, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Our turn. No, he performs ground pound, so the ball moves. Oh. Three spaces. Okay. So it's right next to him again. So yes, it is now our turn. So I gotta do my action. Let's, you have to circle I'll it. Circle it first. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, good. There's two two wounds here. Monster stumbles backwards and suffers knockback three. Directly away from the attacker, perform ground pound. The monster stumbles... Oh, they're the same thing. Almost the same thing. The attacker... Okay. So there's two wounds here, which is good. And then we've got a, an armor. So, one, two, three, four. I want to make sure that I'm... One, Still two, the three, furthest four, away. Five, six, seven. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. I've got four tokens. I know what you're building up. You're going to, you want to lay the final critical blow. I do. I do. You only, you only want two attacks this whole game and they're both your fists. Wow. I could attempt to tackle the monster, but I don't have any survival. All right. So there's two wounds whoa, whoa. up here. No, you put the wrong one on top. Really? Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. So it's been a long day. I know. Yeah. We were demoing yeah. our basement today. Yeah. Okay. Um. So now it is. I'm going to attack. Her turn. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta take. You gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. Yeah. Because. I'm gonna get hurt by the ball. Mm hmm I can't get up. So do I go over here to shoot and he hits the ball away? Because I do knock back three, the ball's gonna move. Oh, then yes. Just in case I don't wound him. Okay. Or I only wound him once. So you're you're hitting on what, sixes now? Uh yeah. So you'd rather do fives. I say this is six. This is it. Seven. Six. Or do I go behind you him? You need to go behind him. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself if uh Well, you're gonna be down. 
oh, that ball's going to knock us all yes. down again. But you're going to be able to get up, and I can have him attack me. Okay, okay, I'm going for it. Hit on fives from behind him. Three. Three. It's a good thing. I only want to hit him once. Okay, so... Iridescent arm. Let's do it in... Arm or the breastplate first? Arm. Okay. Wound on fours. Because he's got minus one toughness token. Okay. This is what it comes down to. Here's our... We survived one chance. I'm not sure we're going to survive another. I don't think so. Arm. Four. Four. Wound. Okay, so there's the to his charge. Oh, God. So now he's going to be doing more damage. Oh, God. To us. Wound. The monster stumbles backwards and suffers knockback three. One, two, three. Performs ground pound. You're already down. Wait, how are you going to attack him from there? Do you see what I have? Oh, yeah, the bow. I forgot, yeah. I'm going to use the same die. Oh, my God. Okay, are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Tell Pele he's not going to be able to fist. Pele, it's okay. It's okay, man. I'm going to finish it here. He got his one hit in. Uh-huh. Yeah, he got it. He this got is what it. it comes down to. Man, I couldn't sleep last night. I know. Coming up with the strategy. I know. Hit on a four. I already, okay. I already hit him. I just need to wound him. Come on! Oh, the three! Are you serious? I'm not lying. Okay. You just killed us all. It's not over. It's not over. Pele wants a piece of him. All right. Pele has no survival to get over Plus there. six toughness. So 18. he's got, okay. Oh no, so he's at 17. I was just seeing if I could get there. I don't think I can. 14? No. I was going to say, if I wound, I gain a survival. But I don't. All right. He's down to one wound, and he's ridiculous at the moment. Okay, well the now, ball doesn't go around us. Now I can move. Does it? Yes. It does. Oh, he's not touching. He's not touching the ball. Oh, he's not touching. Okay. Closest knockdown survivor, so he is going to be hitting Cupid. For how much damage? Five. Four. Four, Four damage. I can take it anywhere but the head. Okay. Do you would like would you like to come out of the ball? Oh yeah, that would be amazing. It's an eight to escape, right? Yeah. Okay, come on. Bleeding token. Okay. I do not come out. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to move, but I don't think I'm going to move, right? I'm going to stay right where I am, because it's the closest knockdown survivor. Oh, wait, he throws that ball. So I am going to... Oh, he doesn't throw the ball, because no. he's not next to it. Yes. Okay, good. New round. Monster goes. He's not next to the ball. Closest knockdown survivor. Three attacks. Hits on fives, I think, on you, right? I have two evasion. Yep. One, two. Okay, this is for four damage. Do you want me to roll one at a time or all three? All three together at once. I missed one. Pretty good, right? Not really. That's pretty good. No head location, a body and a waist. Okay, well the waist, I take a heavy. Okay. And the body, how much damage is it? Four. So. Did you have three on you? I had three <sighs> and I take a heavy. Cause you had a light I already had a light. on the heavy. Oh my goodness. Yes. So I've got three heavies right now. Head, body, waist. Oh my god. And then he full moves adjacent to the ball. Ends his turn. Okay. Guess what? Could you stand me up, please? You stand up. Daylight. Do what you do best. Well, do what you do second best. Do the circle. Circle it. I don't, I don't know how much more I need to do to prove to you. I hate you. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. All right. So there's two cards here. The first one is a reflex. Perform ground pound. The other one, if you, before attempting to wound, perform ground pound. Cancel reaction to the set location. Okay. Failure's basic action. You cannot beat him. I need to get closer to All the right. table. So I am going to just shoot once. Because this trap keeps coming. I'm only going to shoot once. Okay. And he performs and then, ground pound if I fail, but it doesn't hit anybody. What happened? What's, what's up with the next card? The next one's just super dense. It's not like the bad one that's impervious. So you could attack. Well, we only need one attack, though. We can't have you pull it to trap. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'm ready to go. I know you are. He has five tokens. Five. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to get there eventually. Hopefully he doesn't have to get there. Eventually? Okay. All right. I'm putting it on top. I'm going to shoot with the bow. Can you tell me what you hit on? Three. Three, because I have minus one accuracy token. Okay. And then what do you wound on? Fives. Right? Let me double check. Hold on. I hit on sixes, I get plus four accuracy, so that brings me to a two. Mm -hmm. Brings me to a two. I have a minus one accuracy token, brings me to three. three. I'm back to a two because of my plus one accuracy. I'm going to try and hit him on a two. To hit in the filthy claws. Stupid filthy claws. Let's go. Here's another chance to do it. Oro, to save your newborn survivors and your buddies. These are like the uh, the, the college kids, the roomies. I don't really know. Saved where I'm by going the bell, the college years. Get them out. All I needed was that four. Thank God. I hate this guy. He is defeated. Last wound. I'm breaking this model. He falls down. I couldn't get a critical, but that's okay. Congratulations. That was all you. It was all you taking the hits. I Thanks. think you did a great job. Thank you. Standing in front to take the hits <laughs> so that this one Oro person could be shooting. Okay, can we get to the good part now? <sighs> the good part. Oh! The rewards. Oh At least we walked away with one dried acanthus left. Oh, that's true. All right. Do we get to read, like, what happens? Yeah, what happens when... The okay. group investigates the large resin dung ball and the network of tunnels beneath the battleground. Inside the ball, they find not only... Me. Rig, they help you get out. Uh, caustic but mineral-rich substance. Rolling aside the ball, they find passages leading deeper underground. After collecting rewards... Spelunking of Death story event. The group gains the following rewards. Six basic resources. Heck yes. Okay. Uh, four Dung Beetle Knight resources. Well, I'm going to let you pull all the Dung Beetle Knights. There you go. Six basic resources. And two Calstic Preserved Dung Strange resources. Let me get those out in the meantime. Okay, six. Here we go. Anything. Hide. Get some love juice. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yuck. Six. No. Sorry. Okay. We're at three love juice. Okay. Where is my... Okay. Can I, can you pass me the stock to shuffle for the dung beetle? Yep. yep. So I can get that ready for you. I'm sorry, what are you looking for? The, this, this calstic preserved dung, strange resource. poop? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Trying to, oh, there it is. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. The cats are just, oh my god. Throw that at her. That did nothing. Did nothing. All right, look at this, this dung that we get. Okay. Is it stinky? Uh, organ consumable dung. The live cultures in this exotic mixture of mature dung have been preserved with a delicate, airtight jelly casing. Okay. Alright, so we get four of these. Mm -hmm. This is the first one. Oh! Century fingernails. These nails are never clipped. Instead, they are folded and hammered hundreds of times into an impossibly fine edge. Oh! Don't pour it. Ew. Okay. Ah! Uh, Electra. Elytra? The ribbed underside of these large shells makes an ideal surface to grind weapons. A survivor may archive this to give all their attacks in the next showdown sharp. Whoa. We can make any weapon sharp. Sharp is, uh, you roll 2d10s when you attempt to wound. Okay. That might be like an end game. Uh, yeah. I already got those hands. Get those fingernails going. So basically, this is worthless. Whoa! Look at those hands! You need yeah, to... we don't need ah! them to craft anything! Oh, we got this beetle horn! Oh, with scarification, I could attempt to stick it on my head, I think. I'm gonna scarification one of the cats right now. <sighs> Alright. Okay, what happens now with this stupid end story? Spelunking of death. That does not sound fun. Okay, so I've looked at this. I'm going to give you a heads up. I already looked at this. Okay. Your group investigates the monster's network of tunnels and are inspired by the rich vegetation. If your settlement does not already have it, gain the subterranean agriculture innovation. So this is what I looked up to see like how this whole thing works. Because the dung beetle has the ability of... They have some items that you can craft, and then you can calcify them. So they become stronger, but you have to do this whole event by like digging them underground with this jelly, and you have to do that like during this, ah, right here. Event? This innovation, like oh. this special event here. Okay. Uh, so the Black Harvest is what it's called. So we just gained this. Okay. Oh, we have to build his weapon area. Two organ and two bone. Two organ and two uh, bone. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's not bad. All right. Um, there's no place on here for his things. This might be um, prior to the expansions. Got it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. So innovation. Now, nominate up to four survivors from the last showdown to be spelunkers. One at a time, each spelunker rolls a d10 on the table below. So we're going to go and what do we get? Possibly more items? Yes. Now, it looks like if you have a pickaxe, you have a better chance of getting good stuff. Okay, well, so, so we're at least going to nominate two. I think we're going to nominate my two guys. And that's it? Um, do, you have, do you have a lot of courage on any, any of yours? No. Okay. So, no. I have one courage apiece. Oh, um, if you want, if you want to do this, you can come splunking with me. Let's just say just ones are bad. Everything else isn't bad. Okay, then I'll, uh, both of them are going to splunk. All right, now I'm going to have my guy start first, though. Okay, sure. So I'm going to have Pele go splunking with his one arm. Okay. Okay, oh, let's show this cool. It's a pretty cool image right here. Show this to everybody. Look at that. Pretty cool, okay? Look at that. Oh, yeah, we are splunking. We're splunking, all right. All right, here we go. Five. If you have a pickaxe, which I do, you find a corpse clutching something tightly to its chest. Gain a skull and one iron. Strange resource. A skull? And, okay. Pretty good, right? Yes. Now, it's not the skull of someone else in our settlement, right? Nope. Okay, it's just good. somebody else that went spelunking before us. Okay. All right. Now we've got... Aura. Aura. Come on. Eight. Okay. 
Beneath a passage of bones, you find a secret entrance and are compelled to attempt the trial of valor. Oh no. The trial of valor. I'm like running across this lava. Magma, thing. yeah, okay. Roll a d10. Adding half your courage, round it up. So Which is four, I five. One, two, three, four, five. So, so I'm three. adding three to this roll. Six. Six. You fail, but master your fears. Gain plus one courage. Okay. All right. Get that extra courage going. All right. Your turn. Who's going first? Frigg. She's more courageous. Okay. Let's do it. So Frigg. I'm just rolling the d10. D10. All right, d10. Eight. Same Trial thing. of valor. Okay, she only has one courage, so Round I'm adding up. one. You're adding one to it. Okay, come on, eight. Come on, eight. Come Run on, against eight. that fire pit. Nine. Ten. Ten. You have passed and may now attempt the trial of wits. <laughs> okay, do I have to add my understanding? You add D10, adding half your understanding. So I have one understanding. I'm going to tell you, before you roll, because it says you may attempt this. Oh, okay. A one to seven, you die. Okay? Mm -hmm. An eight or a nine, you gain something great. Okay. A ten or higher, you find the item for all the spelunking. And this is the only way to get that item. You have to pass both trials. So okay. you have made it here. Wow, she definitely is the most courageous. So I have one understanding. So right now, I have to roll a six, a six or higher. Which is 50%. Which is 50%. Now, she has not... Sorry, you need to roll a seven. But seven, I have one understanding. Seven plus one is eight. One to seven is bad. Oh, one to seven is. So it's a 40% chance. She has her reroll. Oh, right, you're right. She has her reroll. And here's the thing this is the only way that we get to do this, is when we defeat a Beetle Knight. Then you have to roll a seven on Spelunking to then go to the Courageous, pass the Courageous, to get down to the Trial of Wits. Here's the problem. And you've got your reroll. Here's the problem with Frig. Okay. She's got plus one accuracy. Great. She's got plus three strength. Amazing. And she's got plus two evasion. Oh, really? In good. addition to that, she has tumble and rhythm chaser fighting arts. And the combo master. Wow. And that which lets you make an extra hit. And this is your shield person. She's got two proficiencies. This is my shield. shield and proficient yes. Now, if I say no, yeah. I don't get anything. Correct. You just like, hey, I passed that, I'm out. Can I go with Cupid before I make the decision? No. No. <laughs> I can't. We might have to shut the cameras off. <laughs> I want you to, I want you to walk me through this. All right, let's 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 talk about this. Let, okay, so I have to roll a seven, eight, nine, or ten to add my plus one understanding. Yeah. There's nothing I can do to gain extra understanding, and there's nothing I can do to gain. No. Okay. Okay. Can someone else use their reroll? No. No. no this, this is, is just, just her. Because you're rolling this. Okay. All right. I'm gonna tell you what this, the first bonus is. So if I roll an A eight seven or an eight. Okay. Plus one permanent luck. Oh crap! <laughs> oh crap! Which is like the best stat to get. Right. Right, because that's what we're working so hard we for. We want to have a luck character. Okay, now can you tell me what the amazing... All right. Did I already get to see it? No, you have not seen this. 
gain the hidden crimson jewel. Rare gear. What? Have you seen what it is? I actually did look. You, okay. I actually did so look. there's no way to craft it. No, this is the only way you can gain this item. Oh, now. And it's good. It's oh, not I'm like, sure it's, it's good. not like, I'm ah, sure it's whatever. Good. See, here's the problem. If it wasn't so amazing, I would be absolutely not restopping. Of course. Because she's amazing. I know. So I really don't want to risk her. But you're saying you would risk Cupid if he made it there. Of course I would risk Cupid. He's nothing. He's got, well, he's got plus three strength, but he doesn't have plus one accuracy. And he only has one fighting art. Um, plus, we're like trying to get her up in the spear, in the shield. I know. Does she gain like extra courage or anything for doing no. it? Like getting all this way? No. <laughs> Why did I roll so perfectly? <laughs> I know it's my decision. It is. But I want you to tell me what you want me to do. Oh, come on. <laughs> this, is your, this is your character. I can't. I think you made a really good case about her and how we're building her. Okay, okay. So I have a 40% chance. So what? Of not dying. Of not dying. Now add it with the reroll. What does my percentage go to? 40% times 2. Uh, I don't know, what does that become, like a 60-ish uh, percent chance? I don't I forget. 40% and then like half of the other 40 is 60 out of, well, it's 40 and 40, so that's 80 out of 200%. I kind of forget how that all works You out. realize I'm just stalling because yeah. I'm not actually yeah. listening to This is like the you. longest video I am... that we've done. Can you tell me what you would do if it was your character? Well, this one has no understanding, so I definitely would not be doing it. Oro. Um, Pele, with that punch, man, I don't think he would be doing it. Really? You don't think so? I'm, f I'm at three fists. Oh, well, then you here. already answered it for me. Are you at three with your shield? No, I'm at two. Not three. No, not three! But she has plus one accuracy. I know, I know. Your character is really good. And an extra evasion. She's great. We're going to come back and fight him again. Well, I don't know when, but... Oh, please, can I just do a Cupid first? <laughs> I can't decide. I would love to take the risk. I would love to, but she is so... She's strong. Okay, so you gotta make a decision. People have to go back to work. You might have to cut it. And what, just think about it? I don't know. I, I really want to do it. If you really want to do it, then roll. No, I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to do it. Welcome to marriage life, guys. <laughs> and girls, this is what you put your husbands through. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Would you do it? Oh my god. I know you wouldn't do it. You That's why do I say this is this you is You wouldn't up do to it. You. you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. So I get two chances. I get two chances to roll a seven or higher. Mm -hmm. She's gotta do it. Okay. She's gotta do it. She's gotta do it. Okay. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's an eight, you which have, is a nine. You have rolled it's that on camera. It's, I couldn't have. I couldn't have. I couldn't have. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's an eight. She doesn't get the amazing thing, though. She gets plus one luck, though. <laughs> I can't believe it's ten minutes of you deciding that, and you toss the die, and it lands over here. You fail, but feel an unseen gaze gain plus one permanent luck. Oh my god. Frig! You are, you are freaking amazing!
Okay. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I don't think I would have done it. Oh my god. But oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. I might re-roll. My re-roll. A three. Thank god I, I felt it. I felt it. Okay. Okay. Everybody, calm down. Okay. <laughs> Cupid. Okay. Okay. Cupid. We go back to the original table. Mm-hmm. All right. Spelunking of death. Okay. One. <laughs> He dies. The passage collapses, burying you. You die, end the event. Does Cupid have his reroll? No! No, he doesn't. <laughs> Wait, don't I get to add something to it? No. Courage. No. It's a two. It's you a two. Just, no, you just killed, you just killed Cupid. <laughs> He was one of our new guys. All right, well, <laughs> the highs and the lows here at Kingdom <laughs> Death. Uh, I can't believe I rolled a one after rolling. Back. Actually, I can't believe it. I hate Kingdom Death. <laughs> so we're gonna set up the settlement phase. And oh see what no! So there. we get minus one endeavor. We sure do. Whoops. So we're just recording our. Uh, Death. Latest death. Oh. And we have to pull a uh, basic resource. Because we, uh, we cannibalized it. You want an organ? I, I. Okay. Okay. So, we've got everything set up here. Oh, well, we got to go through everything here. So, we only get three endeavors. Sorry. We, we got our experience. Uh, I think everyone's at five now, right? Because we've all been out together. Mm hmm. Two bow proficiency, three with the fist, and two with the shield. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, we come back, we update the timeline, so we are now entering, we're entering year 15. We are halfway done with this campaign. Wow. Can you believe it? I can. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, great. She can I believe can believe it. it. All right. Uh, we update the death count, which is one. <sighs> Spoiler, we're going to fight a white lion Excuse next. Excuse me. All right, then we just gotta make it through this. Oh, crap. Uh, you always forget about this. I always forget about. Oh. <laughs> I just got attacked by white lion fur. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! So that makes me nervous. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dark dentist. Triathlon of death. Oh boy! I've done this one before. We have. Man, this, this only video three of us, is going to be much longer. Excuse me. Man. We nominate survivors. Bro. Oh. Get them all out. Get them all out? Get out Threading all the survivors. Well, just neat, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. there. We have to do these people. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh no. Odin, Frigg. Do we have people that... Mm -hmm. Anyone that has used the reroll. Odin. He has not. Oh, he's apathetic. Use him. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. It was Cupid. Juna. Oh, Juna's got a lot with spear. Four strength. Yeah, four strength. Sidon. We Sith. can't... We, we have no one. any of them. And Diana. We don't want to use these four. Oh, no. So we're going to have to use our people. Mm-hmm. And throw Odin to the wall. To the wolves. wolves. This is gonna mess us up. I know. I know. We don't. We don't have anybody All right, left. Well, let's not use Frigg. Frigg's gonna stay up. She's our best character right now. Okay. So who do we, Ares? Do we replace with Ares? I didn't even see Ares. It's she. That's it. We don't have that many left. Sif. We, we could use Ares. Okay. All right, Ares. Oro. So I'll take Ares, and you have Oro and Pele. So Ares, Odin. All right, so it's just these four, right? We don't have yeah. any new one else? Oh, no, we no. don't have any. We just lost Cupid. We lost Cupid. Demeter, okay. we lost. She was killed by the hand. Her skull was crushed. Oh, great. Wonderful. That was it. Okay, so let's start it up. We need to make babies. We do. All right, 
So the first one, oh, every number of survivors, survivor scores determined in the settlement only has one survivor. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is the race contest. We add our movement attribute, which everyone's the same. So, here we go. Let's all roll together. Pele and Oro. Odin and Ares. Okay. Odin got a 10. Seven. So let's roll off. Keep that there. Oh boy. Six. All right. So first, okay. So Pele. First place. Odin. Plus one permanent movement. So you have six movement. So what? This just goes to six? Yep. Okay. Second place. Ten over here. Plus one courage. Aura. Okay. That's why I wanted to go spelunking. Okay. To make it there. Third place gains a pair of rawhide boots. That's how we have that extra rawhide boots. Yep. Let's see if there's another one in here. Congratulations. Thanks. Yep. And then fourth place, my poor Pele, uh, torn Achilles tendon. Forget how bad that is. Let's see. Legs torn. Your legs cannot bear your weight until the end of the showdown. Whatever uh, heavier injury, you're also knocked down. Skip the next hunt. Okay. So I can't use him during our next hunt. That's all right. Although he was ready to go. All right. Now he's got to he's got to ice his fists. Now the debate contest. You roll this and you add your understanding. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He's got a reroll, if needed. I'm not gonna use the reroll. Five is Odin, Ares is eight. Okay. Uh, so first place, eighth. Ares. You gain the skull basic resource. What do I do with my shape? Right Second here. place, Aura. Gain some understanding. That's her first. Third place is uh, Odin. Is Odin, yes, five. Just get the next hunt. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. He was going to not go anyway. And fourth place, apathetic disorder. No. Yep, can't gain or use survival. It's just a disorder, though, so there might be ways to... Get rid I thought drums got rid of disorders, but they've changed the drums since. So I don't know how to get rid of this disorder. I could just gain three more disorders and then get rid of apathetic. But, poor Pele. Crap. Okay, then the fight contest. Add your strength to the roll. Nine, two. Four, so I'm at six. Okay. And nine. So first place, oh, we both got nine, nine. so we re-roll. Aries and Pele. Hopefully Aries wins. Nope. Yes. yes. Good. A Aries, first place. Uh, plus one weapon proficiency. Oh, so he gets an extra in the bow. Man, that extra fist would have been good. I tried my best. So why did you say you wanted Ares to get it? I don't know, because I'm not going to be using oh, Pele. Yeah. I didn't know it was a weapon for sure. Second place is There's plus you. one strength. Okay. So I'm at four for Pele. So what's your number over there? Uh, it is a three. Mine's a six. So um, third place. Yeah. What? You get a random fighting art. This triathlon, man. What do you get? I get a dismembered arm, severe injury, so I can't activate two-handed weapons it. like the bow, which I have been proficient with. Crazy. And dismembered arm. Well, when we fight that hand, I'm going back out because it heals it. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Was that it? That yeah, is it. Yeah, three. Okay.
now we actually get to what we're doing. So, uh, we only have, like I said, three endeavors. Uh, the first one's going to be to build the blacksmith by using scrap smelting. So six bone and two and three scrap, which we just got. Finally got. Which is great. Yes. That builds a blacksmith. So again, this is like the end game weapon. It's like the best area to build. And then from there, we're going to build two armor pieces because we have two iron. We have two iron, and those are the missing two pieces that need were needed for the second knight set, which is the warlord set. The warlord set. set, which we don't physically have yet because we need to right. visit the caravan. But in order to do that, I think we need some pieces from the lion. So we will yes. be going out on a lion fight. Uh, level two, maybe a level three. It's possible. Well, we now have each of the five pieces of armor. So hopefully if we find what we need with the lion, then the warlord set will be crafted right. at the, the end warlord of next set. year. Exactly. So this is good because here's two pieces of the of the this, this good set. Five armor. Yeah. And five armor and you can give plus two movement. So it was an iron and like... Five. One was five leather, leather the which, bottom we had, and this is five organ. No, right. we didn't have five leather, sorry. Right, so we had to spend an endeavor to make that hide into, into leather. leather to get these two pieces. And then our third is going to be our innovation over here. Well, then that means we have two, because you just got a hide. So that means we have two pieces of leather. All right. Left over. You pick two, I pick two. Okay. We want well, Clan of Death. I know that's in here. This is this is what we want. Saga. Saga. Okay, that's going to be helpful if we fight a level 3 lion. Nightmare Training. Okay, so this is actually pretty good, though. Because this is... Um, you can gain extra weapon proficiency. All By right. going there, you, you mean? You lose 3 survival and roll a d10. So this is how you can get somebody up in weapon proficiency without going out onto a fight. I was trying to get that all-ass campaign. You were trying to get this innovation? Yeah. Bloodletting. I don't know so, if I've so ever far, seen So that. far, Saga is the winner. Pictograph. Pictograph allows you to run away from a fight. Like in the middle of a showdown, mm -hmm. you have the ability to run. And what do you lose? Do you um, lose stuff? It's a chance to... No. Uh, I'm going to say Saga. Because... Wait, one dis disorder of your choice? Oh, is that... Eight or more cured. Gain six or more insanity, you may remove one of the following. One disorder of your choice, one warped pelvis, severe waist injury, or one intestinal proplase, severe waist injury. Mm. Breathing a vein. So that's for an endeavor. Yep. You spend one resource. Okay. And then roll a 1d10. So that's how you get rid of a disorder now. Yeah. So, we actually pulled three pretty decent ones, right? So, so saga. saga. Newborn survivors gain. Plus two courage, plus two understanding, plus two hunt experience. So they start right away with the age, which is nice. And Saga, like I said, would be beneficial if you fight a level three lion. And why is that? So, if you fight a level three lion and you have Saga, mm -hmm. um, I think it's whoever dealt the killing blow get some bonuses. Okay. But it's only once in a lifetime. Like, like we can only do the once per campaign. So we're at the thing yeah. is, like, can we fight a level 3 lion right now? He has 14 toughness. So that's just what the dung beetle was. You know, like, do we do that? Or, and we're going to get a lot more stuff, and then we're going to get this. Well, I say we keep this anyway because we're going to be making babies soon. Right, and that's going to be very helpful to jumpstart them. Yeah. And doesn't add anything new to the deck, you know, so our innovation pile stays the same. And look, I'm probably not going to bring Pele out against the level 3 lion, so there's no point to try and get bloodletting now. Well, you can't bring him out no matter what. Oh, very true. Because he skips the hunt, but... I think Saga is the way to go out of those three. Okay. Wow, a level 3 lion gives, gives you 3 hunt experience. Nope, it is just 2 stuff. Oh, it is? Okay. I was going to say, wow, our characters are going to age way too quickly then. Just 2. Um, we might have to bring out some 
oldies, oldies but goodies. Oldies but goodies to fight this. If if that's just like yes, if we if we do that level. What three. else would we do? Nothing. What? A level two, because we want to get oh, the so, armor. Yeah. Hmm. So no matter what, it's three. a lion. No matter what, it's a lion. Uh, the level two lion. Well, level one we just went. And we beat him with our fists, basically. Mm -hmm. So um, if we can do a level three, I've never tried it. I've never tried any level threes before. But our characters are pretty strong, and that's going to give us a a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so thank you for staying with us this the entire long episode. Yeah, long episode, and we will go back and forth, and we will see you next time to fight some type of lion. Some type of lion, yes. I like it. Thanks a lot. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We haven't said that in a while, because I think everyone that's watching these episodes are Does that already. probably already a subscriber. Yeah. Uh, and, and liking of the videos, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, keep it up. It's great. And I have some work to do. I've got to catch up on, on all the comments, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't help, so. We'll see you guys next time.